So, last time, we left you guys off after your defeat of the Fire Elemental um, of the Storm Sight in Inventus. Um, after it acted up, you guys had came back after rescuing Teldris from Audrey. You guys had revealed that the Heart of the Storm had been showing. George Strom had talked to you guys about how possibly other Storm Sites had Heart of the Storms that maybe were going to be able to be possibly learned about and then this one kind of just showed to orm he kind of went through this vision up inside of the storm and after doing so saw above the clouds saw some of the things that were going on in a vision that relinoff um had basically slain part of the party of the deliverance here you guys had this huge fragment that kind of ripped out into kind of the area rippling through all these memories not in some cases huge ones for you guys, small memories, some basic, maybe nothing more than like, fuck this, who your parents' names might have been, or maybe a little bit more details on who they were. The rest of you, though, nothing too much. Um, Magnus, you kind of remember, you know, maybe some of the guards that you worked with, um, just some basics, nothing crazy. But people in the area seemed as if that was a very big deal. Like some of the people that have been living here for quite some time, it affected quite a bit um when we ended you guys learned that there was an individual named taronda rocks who supposedly shattered and stole this gem after the deliverance was supposedly had a member killed erotic baylor who was sealed away into this elemental storm with his blade and after you guys defeating the storm site found this blade in which fuck this now holds and is attuned to We'll pick up here with you guys waking. Um, you've had a few moments, and you heard the flapping of these wyvern wings, and you saw these three dragonborn land right Was outside of your the estate. Only person that saw it. Um, you all like you heard it. You were the first one that heard it because you were upstairs. So you you kind of heard it turned, but then at this point, everyone kind of looking out of the windows saw these two, and then were even addressed by these dragonborns saying that Smoshdot was here and that they were seeking an audience with Fuckdis. And that was where we had left off. He had walked up, you guys now, it being about 8, 9 a.m., you seen outside of this window, you see these two darkish kind of armored and like a black and steel, um, very pristine. And in front of them, you see this red dragonborn very much so adorned in quite heavily, um, I'd say, new armaments. Not something you would maybe think you would fight in. Um, like it looks ceremonial? Almost. almost um, maybe a little bit of actual armor in case is needed, but most of it seems to be for show. Um, you see him walking, and then he stops maybe about 100 feet from your guys' estate on the back and not on the front. And he kind of just stands there. He looks up. Fuck this. I know you're in there. We know where you move. We have ways of tracking you. Come out. And whatever company you have in there, we want peace. You see him put out his arms. We have no weapons. We just want to talk. Our intentions before... We're misguided. You wait a moment. There's this long pause. Nothing no, we, said. Like, we all hear this. Everybody right? hears this. Everybody within probably 100 yards. He's yelling this, making sure himself over. The wind is slightly <laughs> up. It's not quite as cold, quite as heavily snowed as you guys have gotten rid of this storm site. But the cold snow is still prospering from Landen, where that ice storm. There is still, you know magical storms basically prospering here but it's lighter now that the storm site is gone so what do you guys do at this point you're just gonna hear like it sounds like a bunch of plates breaking okay um and um magnus is gonna yell out get everybody in here right now including whoever the fuck that is and, like you, magnus just sounds like really strained like he's panicking 
heavily breathing, yeah, just like kind of moving through. I'm almost just, just, just clanking around, <laughs> moving through. Um, as you said, now are you saying that loud enough that the individuals outside hear you? Oh, I'm yelling this. Okay. I don't have direct so vision with you, anybody. You say that. You're saying this in common. You wait. You see one of the darker individuals kind of slowly walk up to this red dragonborn. This far away, you're not sure what they say. You see a hand kind of put to the back. The dragonborn kind of steps away from him. He takes a few more steps closer. I don't know who you are, but I'm here for fuck this. If he is in there, and if he is alive, I need to speak with him. And if he is not alive, you see him slowly just put his hand near his waist. I will come in looking for him. Come in now. Come in. Door. Someone open the door. He's more plate breaking. He's a trained general. Like he's not going to walk on into your house. It could be a trap. He's he, yeah. He, I'm set. Yeah. Someone, someone. go get him. <laughs> <laughs> You look around, Grunders and Dennis scene. They're sitting there. This shit. I'm gonna stand not near the door, but like in the back of the room somewhere. Seeing, seeing all of you guys kind of do this, you see Lawden, who you guys haven't seen since you've been back. I mean, he kind of. There's a room full of us. Dennis Steen and Grunders. And then right? the room up here is where Meg is yeah. panicking. If he comes in by himself, he won't be. Able to. He means it all. Fuck's take you guys so long. <laughs> Fuck, get up here. Hurry it up. Huh? What? Lawton just looks at you. No one's inviting him in. You're just yeah, yelling at them. They him. they <laughs> probably need invited in. He kind of goes through the door. Someone fucking invite him in. Holy shit. Right. He kind of <laughs> cracks it open. Somebody let him in. <laughs> you being on the second floor, you guys being kind of now in the main like foyer as you're like the entry point to your estate, you all kind of just like see the door looking out the windows. I see the door opening. I know you're in there. I hear you also moving around. The door kind of... You see Wadden just sitting there. You can come in. You see the individual just standing there. Alone. At this point, I'm going to fall out the window in the front of the house. You just... <laughs> just yeah. Yeah. All right, um... Christ! Come on! Just, Fuck this boom. inside. I don't care. Shit's awful. Everything, nothing makes sense. We need, we need more, I need more mouths. Brains. Give me a persuasion check. As you just laying out, oh, staring I, I at him. This, there's no check. This is not, I'm already back inside. Oh, you're just like, just ah, come on! He's, <laughs> he's coming, he just looks at you. The door, <laughs> Wadden's kind of holding it open. He looks... We had display of an introduction, I guess. You see him kind of make it like more important 20 things to my 30 name, more my feet in. I'm sorry. You guys are now are like weird. 20. He's about 20 feet from the entry point. Come on, Red, fuck this. Let's go. I don't. I don't really feel safe. How about you meet me out here? Uh, I will... I, will. Yeah, I have evidence of things. They're here. I, I have evidence as I don't well. Know, I don't know why they're all... Wait, like... Me, 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 me. Just fucking let's... Fuck this is here. And he's being a bitch right now, okay? We told him to come inside. And he doesn't want no, to. You, you no, know, you <laughs> told some weirdo that, like, I don't even know who this fucking guy is. To, like, why... He's not important. I'm like yelling in the door at these. <laughs> Lot of just looking like, at look, you. I look awful. There's so a, I'm gonna. There's a different dragonborn who's confused. Um, you haven't seen. I'm gonna use my this telekinetic the same movement, and I'm just gonna like throw visiting earlier out the door. Just like what? I'm just gonna Please. pick him up, Resist. and I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Resist. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, nah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fucking walk outside. I'm just gonna shove him. So you just hear Art, hur, 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 all inside, just moving around. You wait about five, ten minutes while this is all going on. He's just right. standing outside waiting. Come inside I'm, I'll go. I'm already outside. Uh, I'm gonna. You walk past Lot and the door opens. You just take a few steps into the snow. How, how many I, feet is he away from 20. the door? Twenty. Door. I need you to make a strength uh. save. I'm told, I just I need you to make a straight outside. Through. You need to make a straight <laughs> day anyway. Straight <laughs> day? Give me a straight day. Right now. I uh, apologize for the door. 
I think he's schizophrenic. He kind of looks past Natural you. Natural 20. <laughs> 27. Me, do it again. So, what are your friends doing in there? It's a great question. Fail. I ask you myself know, that question at 16 all it the of the time. It's nice seeing someone else who understands. Kind of takes a step season. back, hand off his hilt. Is this a safe place to speak? Yes. Yeah, inside! Rather, rather, yeah. You take a step out now, and at this point, you see the two blackened guards kind of take a step forward. You hear one, do, and he puts his hand back. It's fine. Nothing will come of this. We're just here to talk. I uh, would like to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Orum. As you do that, he kind of takes a few more steps forward. He goes out to greet you. I'm Smashdot. I am one of the noble leaders in the Dragon Scale Keep. I have come here, and he looks right at you. I've come here to make friends. Things that have happened recently. Leave me hanging here, or...? He looks at your arm once more. Never seen your kind. Yeah, we're more common around this part. No, no, you're not. More common than we've seen. Like, Give me a persuasion check. Yeah, like, there was like that one. You see that there's like, just an head. air of like four. He kind of looks maybe in time. Okay. Let's speak first. All right. My intentions are off-putting. I came here only by choice. I was not supposed to. Alida, Argonis, Cavalier. He's leading many Dragonborn, let's say, down a wrong path. Last oh, night, I awakened with many of my brethren with a rushing flood of memories. We turned and many of us looked at each other. Oh, yeah, that's my freaking. Oh, wow, that's, that's continent-wide. Interesting. We felt something. We heard that there were storms within your wood that were starting to act up. Okay, I got all the information you need. It's just in that room that I jumped out of. He kind of looks at you back through the window. Time. You should really... Think about making your PowerPoint presentations more a little more portable. Oh, I'm sorry. I ain't a fucking magic man. Okay. And there's so a you, lot of information that we learned yesterday. So you know of the storm in <clears throat> your wood, then? Oh, I mean, we there's a storm. Setting, we're using we're you. I'm 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 using specific. the fact that this one storm caused the one here is what caused all those memories to happen. What I here? revealed. What here happened? That oh, caused all the memories. What the, do you? There was a, you know, the storm sites. Well, this one woke up as like a super angry, yeah, fire, wind, elemental. We fought a storm it, site. It almost murdered me. Actually, it succeeded in murdering me. You yeah. see one of the dragonborn in the back. <laughs> he kind of just <coughs> takes off his helmet, and now seeing a bright red adorned dragonborn in black scaled armor, kind of takes it off and leans forward. Yeah. I... I, th I thought I heard about the storm sites, and you're telling me that the one here, and he kind of starts walking around the side of your home, and then you see his helmet, and he just drops it. Did you guys just watch? Yeah. It's not here. Kind of points. Master, it was right over there, I swear. We tracked fuck this for two weeks now. We've seen it. Pause. How are you dragging? You see. <laughs> I'm assuming some the blood red, magic. The red dragonborn. Fucking thank you. <laughs> the red dragonborn turns. We planted a coin on you a long time ago. When How you were captured. We spent that. When they found you the first time. You traveled with it for about a day. You left outside of city walls. 
and we tracked you. You dispersed of it sometime within that next day. But we had already had ways of our magical, let's say, wielders able to scry in on your location. Once, once we were able to do that, we were able to watch you and your party whenever we wanted to, as long as you were within our Seeker's range. We lost track of you for about a day. It scared us. But you came back. Wait, what day was that? How long? When we teleported to... You don't know, but I'm you could assume when you went we to Audrey. Oh, that was when we went to Audrey. You can assume. You don't know, but above table, that's, that's the farthest you've gone, and that's the most recent thing, and you were not gone for more than a day. He kind of takes back... We only did it for your safety. I haven't been completely honest with you. And now looking at him, you know this is not your father. You can see this. You do see a very stern resemblance, though. He takes a moment. He kind of goes closer and he puts his... That junior. He puts his arm around you, and he kind of walks from Orm just for a moment. Do you go with him? He kind of feels you pull, and he grips just a little tighter. I need you to trust me. Only you need to hear this. He turns, and over his shoulder, he sees a crazed dwarf kind of hanging out of a door. Okay. And he sees a metal man just standing there. Now, you don't hear this. Look. I've been through a lot of shit with these guys, especially this one. What you can say to me, you can say to them. Do they trust in your kind? I think I'm the only one they've met. What we've heard of others is not good. It's not. It's part of the reason why I'm here. I, I would say that they trust in me. Do you think others could maybe trust in you? Who others? You see him kind of remove his arm from around you, and now speaking in a little bit louder of a tone, the rest of you can hear. We have not been honest. The individuals that were sent from the Storm Seekers, they were sent back... Not because they were invading on our territory. They were going to find something out if they would have made it into Dragon Scale Keep. There's an uprising of something going on there. Many dragonborn of red and yellow descendant have been kept. Many others purged and killed. In the beginning... Wait, yellow? Gold. Gold. Oh. gold. Well, there are some that are gold, some... That are almost an orange yellow are hue. Yellow chromatic, right? I mean, technically, no, it'd be gold, no. but gold. there's different hues of dragons. What would their death weapon be, piss? Anyway, <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> price. Jesus. <laughs> Smells sterile. Um, though. Did you poison damage? We, uh. We know that many a long time ago, when Hexwell was created, your father was one of the first ones who created Dragon Scale Keep. He aligned with Argonis, and they wanted to spread the wealth of the Dragonborns. It wasn't far after that, Argonis became almost obsessed with the thought that Bahamut needed praised, but in a new way, that us Dragonborn were going to see Bahamut in a more powerful vision, changed. You see this symbol he pulls out of his pack, and you see this silver dragon. You've seen it, being a Dragonborn, you know this to be Bahamut's symbol. But as you look it over, you see it's been altered. Around its face, you see these large, almost reddish emerald eyes that have been carved in and socketed with this almost very primal paint. 
These are what he hands out. These are what he wants others to believe in. It is not Bahamut anymore. Whatever he tells the people, it's a lie. Whatever this individual is, or deity, or... I'm not even sure. Greater power that he wishes us to feed into? It's evil in every manner. I can hear this, right? Yes. Barely, but yes. There are things that it has changed about our Dragonborn. We've had few go missing. Your father. My brother. Your uncle, that's him. He went missing. He tried to stop Argonus one night. I think he was taking individuals away to be tested upon in a media. It was under the cover of night. It was some sort of draconic ritual. Something that needed to be embedded within another. Next thing I knew, our five best warriors were missing. Five red dragonborns. Gone. I just realized what's happening. Maybe. I'm now, Magnus this now looks more crazed. The next thing I realize is that your father came back after delivering these. Argonus made him. And then Argonus killed your father. He betrayed him. What was his name? Your father? His name was smashed out. I took on his name. My name. <laughs> my name was. My name was Scragjaw. Before. I took on his name to carry it on. Many, with our resemblance looking close, I wanted his name and his power to go on. My name meaning nothing. But your father's name. Strong. Many believed in him, many followed him. He Question, fought. Did his dad like specialize in like? Did he use like a? Mold? Give me a persuasion check as you interrupt sorry. to see. Well, no, you said it, so give me a persuasion no, check. No, I know. I said sorry. No, you like, said. Magnus is like sorry. I didn't and give me a persuasion <laughs> check. He's, he's staring at you. <laughs> you were. Five. So failed like I wanted it to. My bad. <laughs> I'll just wait. He just totally oh, ignores you. <laughs> totally ignores you. Good. I believe what your father was trying to do was double cross Organus back. I think he took the Dragon Ball knowing that that was his only way. Whatever power in a medio was above him, he had to. But I think that wasn't the end all be all. I rummaged through some of his notes. He had ways of breaking them out. He didn't intend on leaving them. He was going to go back and get them. But Argonus made sure that that never was going to happen. Now, did they make a deal with whoever this individual was that one of these dragonborns there? Was your father becoming too powerful? Was Argonus afraid that your father was going to become the leader of the dragonborn and he didn't want that to happen? I don't have that memory. Though maybe we can find it. You say these storms hold ideas, these oh, memories. Are, these memories are much more important. He's not listening to you. And we think so we've we've come to learn that possibly <clears throat> there is a mass use of psychic. I give you my bang. I'm losing everything today. Is it six ten? <laughs> is it six ten? Is it, it is! Oh no! Oh no! It's 610! It's happening now! Alright, go on, sorry. So, we've, we've learned that we think that there's some sort of like mass. At magic. this point, there's just gonna be like this pebble. It's maybe about this big, a, it's gonna hit maybe this from a shen, Maybe from a powerful sorcerer that's messing with people's memory. We think that they're using it for political. So. 
Do you think because, that because of what we just did yesterday, that somewhat backs up our our hypothesis? But maybe these storms are covering up our what's being used for this memory. Or something. Or maybe they hold certain memories. They do more than hold certain memories. There you is... guys wait a moment. And you hear this almost <clears throat> faint sound, like a quick, like you've heard it maybe once or twice. It's the sound of almost like a quick teleportation. You wait, you look around, nothing. And then on the opposite end of the front of your home, you hear Oxford. There's a dark-skinned lady out front that's walking in the oh, snow. this is perfect. White hair? White strip? She's coming towards the front of the house now. Uh, tell her we're over here. No, he, no. He just, Everybody <laughs> can start going in. He goes <laughs> running over. Thank you. You, you hear <laughs> He goes out the door. You hear the door close. He continues on talking. Whatever lies in these storms, we have to understand why. Argonus just militarized and is moving most of the dragonborns towards this storm in Yorwood. For him to mobilize almost all of the dragon scale keep, something must be important there. Is... Have you heard of the memory of what's his name again? The you say that memory? and he just I've never heard that name. Okay, so essentially, have you heard about the party of deliverance? The reverence. reverence? See, this is why I need my slideshow. It's right up there. He kind of turns. Um, I've only. My, my tools. I'm not even my tools. I've heard legends, myths, great individuals that supposedly walk the land. Okay. Now, have you noticed that for some reason there's like this? Ah, fuck. I need my slideshow for this. Mm -hmm. I don't have it. What are you trying to say? Uh, I, I need to learn minor illusion. That's why I, that's why I'm going arcane trickster. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so I have a magical slideshow. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, just follow me, please, and bring. What are you trying to say? We can help you out. Yeah, yeah you that's why I need because I, I want you to see upstairs. Upstairs. What do you have up there? Yeah, Every what? piece of evidence and information that I've ever gathered. Literally right. So what would, what is Cavalier? Argonus, Argonus Cavalier. What, what with the storm? Does you he have see, anything to do? You with see your storm? uncle, just kind of looks at you. He ponders for a moment and then looks at everyone. If something in this storm that you just destroyed was sealed away inside of it, seems as if somebody maybe didn't want it taken out. The only way I know of these storm sites being can, created can was, uh, yeah. okay, was can magic. We, can we not talk about what, like, what was in the storm outside? Because it's a pretty big deal what we found in the storm. So, like, just get inside evidence room and then we'll talk about what's in that because that was mind-blowing and also terrifying what we learned which is why i'm a little manic right now one of the darker scaled male individuals walks up i'll accompany you sir and walk in just to be safe he goes trudging in right in watch that waits a moment he comes walking in looks around where's your room i'll look at the other guy you stand out here? You look and there's this huge like wiver and kind of just hanging out in the back. I'm gonna protect Betta. Did Betta need to protect? Looks pretty frightening. Well, if someone needs to send word that someone just killed our current only acting in command that's left after Fuctus, I think someone needs to be able to send that message. 
And if I'm in there and I get killed by some way, not saying you're gonna get killed, Lord, but <laughs> yeah, like... if it does happen, and you see him just actually take a large step back towards it as you say that. Very well. You see the one inside. Lead the way, Magnus. They start following where's our, you. Where's, where's Arlanda? Arlanda, at this point, as you guys walk into the like back end half, you hear on the other end where the door kind of opened up, you hear Oxford walking with an individual. You don't know it's Arlanda. You just heard that Orem said that. If you're in as manic state as you are, I would say you wouldn't be able to... Mm-hmm. So you're walking no, upstairs. Say, where's Arlanda? <laughs> where? You say it. She's not there yet. You guys go walking upstairs. As you do so, you wait a minute. He kind of looks around the room. You see this red dragonborn. Check it out. Everything seems to be okay. Um, We're still kind of uh, improving our. He looks around. This is actually better conditions than most of us currently stay in. Dragon Scale Keep has been attacked many of times, and Argonus will not repair it. So, uh... Okay, we'll say, we'll get back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Sometimes there are rebels, but, um... We have many enemies in your wood. Dragonborn or beasts. local beasts? Many beasts running, uh... He kind of looks outside. That woven actually... That one was not our friend in the beginning. Tamed, broken. Many of them come that way from your wood. And many of them want their families and their eggs back. The old 20 or so wyvern eggs. That's the beast outside? They'll come looking for them. And, uh... Every time. Just like entered my head. Just ignore me. So, Magnus, you're upstairs. What do you want to show everyone? Okay, so we're going to enter this room. Smashed that, and everyone now has entered. On almost all the walls, and even in like in the middle, you just see like string, just like attaching pictures. Like notes on the yeah, wall. It's like a CSI. It's like, what is it like, called? Um, yeah. Like the the tax and the string just everywhere. I know what you mean. Yeah. So okay. So, where's Orlando? You wait a moment. You hear. I'm soft, not doing this twice. <laughs> you hear some soft footsteps come up, and then you hear Oxford on the other side. He knocks. Come in. You hear the door slightly open, and Orlando just immediately pushes it open. I can lead my way, boy. She comes on in. Thank you, Oxford. He immediately closes the door. You hear Oxford. His steps don't leave. He's most likely standing right outside the door. You. you wait a moment. Arlanda just waits. Okay. <laughs> Arlanda's here. Everybody's here. Okay. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk up and give Arlanda a handshake. She looks at you. As you go in for a handshake, she quickly just pulls you in and makes it a very quick hug. And as she does so, she quickly in your ear says, we do not have much time. This meeting needs to take place quickly. She then pushes you back. Speak quietly and quickly, everybody. You see Smashdat and this other dragonborn. Who is she? She looks at him. That is not important right now. We all have similar agendas in this room. Whether or not they are going to cross paths within the next 48 hours is up to everybody and what they want to do and what they want to help. Now, I have information that I need to tell you all. The Dragonborn people, as I assume this is why you are here, as she looks directly at Fuck This and Smash That, they are mounting some sort of attack, we believe. We're not sure exactly where they are headed, though they are mobilizing all of their forces. You see Smash That. Uh, They are wanting to head towards the storm site in your wood. She looks. We have many military forms that are starting to group. The Red Council has found that there are storms that are becoming active, moving towards major cities. New wall is being threatened as well as what we believe your would. We also have heard in Gildre 
that the water storm has acted up as well. And with these inclement weathers, it's shooting ice shards miles away, killing and destroying many things. Catastrophes are starting to happen within these storms very slowly, though they are changing. And while all this is happening, we have what I believe to be one of the biggest opportunities for us coming up. Well, one of the members of the Red Council are leaving a media. They are traveling out with this conflux weapon and they are heading towards Landen. We know that they are going to be leaving tomorrow night at about 11 p.m. They will be traveling with an airship. Hold on. What? Is Landon the storm we made? Yes. Yes. We didn't do that. They will be traveling. They will be traveling with an airship. We believe anywhere between six to eight men on the airship. And we believe it will be armed with Lithis Lex. This Lex. A member of the Red Council. We also believe that a certain blood mage will be accompanied by him. Even, like, alarms start going off in my head. I really hate that guy. Yeah, I fucking hate that guy. I need to kill that guy. (laughs) Okay. One more thing. Okay. The Stormseekers have also accompanied with whatever side they have joined. It has been chosen. They have joined the Red Council's side. Yeah. Gustang... Underwriter Uh is supposedly detailing this airship from the ground. Him and an unknown amount of storm seekers are traveling with this conflux weapon as backup. They are taking this weapon directly there in hopes of crushing whatever gems or whatever storms and whatever individuals lie in their way. They have one purpose and one purpose only. They are going to eliminate that storm at any means possible. That storm in Landem. We don't know. Okay, so. Now it's my turn, finally. Okay, so. My investigation started with a bunch of people were just getting kidnapped in Hexwell. Okay? We learned later they were being shipped to Audrey. To some guy sacrificing people to Satan, apparently. Making vampires. Herring. Dirt yeah. hair. Yes. And also that somebody in the Rocks region is teaming up with these people. Now, the only thing that's never made sense about this, like, coalition of powers is that, like, usually you follow somebody who has, like, something on you. You know, either they, they're your leader or, you know, you, there's usually, like, a strength discrepancy. But, like, the Red Council inherit in this rock, in which rocks was it? The oldest son of Tor? Darian's. Yes, we, Darian we, we believe it's the... Have been, have been working together. Mm-hmm. Now, what we learned when we killed this storm, though, is that all of the natural storms can logically be assumed to be former members of the party of Deliverance. 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 As you say that, she looks... One which, thing means, I... which means somebody is playing a game a lot bigger than we thought. There's a puppet master controlling all three factions. So, Dwarf, on top of the storm. you're quite a smart one. What do you think is inside of them? Can you bring out the sword? So you, and as you do so, you pull it out. And you see Arlanda almost start, like, shaking with that. Because her voice just shakes. That was in the storm. In the, so, I would like to just interject. I don't, I don't think it'll be pertinent. But you have silver silver fingertips, so if she's a shape changer, it would... I don't think it's pertinent. I just wanted to make no, sure. No, when you touched her? Yeah, no. just wanted no. to make sure. No, you would have... Um, or you're good. Paranoid. She's not a shape changer. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> As she looks at that, that, that's Bela's blade. Yeah, that's the issue here. That is. Was he inside that storm? Yes. Not only was he inside that storm when we killed him, if you notice any memories popping up that you didn't remember. So, so that means the person that made these storms has actively sealed memories of not only 
the person when did these memories the happen as you say that she kind of just zones out when when did you say you received these memories last night about 12 hours ago yeah after we after we killed it i was in a media yeah. didn't receive any memories that's interesting that means it's regional people in your wood received the memories though you see smosh that Yes, everyone in your wood, many of the Dragonborn, everybody, even if it was just the name of their son or their friend. So it's either based on proximity to the storm sites, or the media had something that would prevent well, these well, memories. My bad. Either Is there a storm system. site near a media? As you look at it, there's not that we know of only four storm sites. Okay, now the each. interesting of these these weapons of the irreverence being in these forms is... Wait a minute. Might... Now that you say that, though, I do remember when I was a young girl learning the magic ways, becoming a heretic, I remember a young, young student. He used to say that his father told him that there was another storm site. Though very small, and not located in Hexwell, supposedly located in the Rocks region, contained, not of the magical essence maybe of so much, not like we have created here, but the base, or whatever was originally created, not affected, not with our inventions and our magics, but whatever it originally was. And if that holds true, then maybe there is another storm site. It's not here on Hexwell. Well, the existence of these weapons of the Dereverence in these storm sites means it might be beneficial for us to ignore them going after the Land Dem Storm. Because we know for a fact the Land M Storm doesn't have a weapon of the Dereverence in it. So if we can, while they're mobilizing to handle that storm, if we can clear all of the other storm sites, we could get the weapons of the Dereverence, keeping them out of the Red Council, and whoever the puppet master that is in charge of all of their shenanigans, keep those weapons out of their hands and release the population population's memories by killing the storm sites. That was my next question. We need to make sure we are the ones at the forefront killing these storm sites. If you say they hold pertinent information to memories, we need to make sure we're the ones gathering this information. We need to make sure we're near the, well, precipice of whatever these exchange and memories are to make sure we gather them. On top of that, we also need to fucking break Pug out. Because if we take Pug, they lose their creation that makes everything for them. The ability to control the storms, to create the storms themselves. So what about this storm and then Den? If that storm is not important to you, what has been powerful enough to create it? So here's the problem with that, is that the storm and land Den is particularly important. Wrong. Incorrect. In the grand scheme, the Storm and Lamb Den is not. The Storm and Lamb Den started the dominoes that these other storms are doing, but the Storm and Lamb Den, the center of it's just a machine. Incorrect. In the part of that machine, gem powered by uh, the soul of one of my friends. That why is why it is important. Yeah, but why did I care yes, you did. <laughs> you, you would forget a little bit yeah. of that. You may have never met him, but you remind me of him, and I think the two of you would get along in some aspects. Uh, and that is why I believe the, the storm is in. How many are they sending? They're sending a Red Council member, which... If we can eliminate is excellent. And that blood mage. If we can uh, eliminate is another excellent. But the uh, issue is if we stop them at land dead, the dragons could get the storm in your wood. 
Then maybe, and that's when Smashdot steps in. And maybe that is where we can come in. He looks at Orlando. We need a diversion. We need a way to maybe... We can't stand in front of Wait a whole a army. Wait a minute. But we can misdirect them, maybe. No, you got a flying thingy. How many of those flying things does that army have? And how often does 19, this... 20 in total, we have one. Does it look does your one look like their ones? For like, the most part. Can you get part, close without being noticed? I can get close with being noticed. It's, it's what I choose to, to do. How 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 many like um these dragons that are in this army have been corrupted? I'm not wanting to kill anymore. That's why I came to see fuck this. No, I asking, want him I'm, I'm, I'm to asking, come back. I'm asking specifically the mechanics. And I'm of telling this army. you, my Have whole goal is for me. To uncorrupt you're them. not listening to me, dwarf. You're not listening to me. Because you don't know my intentions. And you don't know mine, and you assume I want to. Because I'm not here for yours. I'm not here for yours. I'm here for him. I don't give two shits what your intentions it's are. It's okay. Just, just fucking... You're right. I will. Cares. I care about the future leader of my people. Or the future of all peoples. We're talk that's, that's, that is the is there, of is there we're another, talking about right now. Is there another the land? Of all people. So there's no land that we can go to. I can't take my dragon riders with fuck this and go start anew. There is. There's a surface beneath. Your problems here are not mine. I'm here for the future of our people. I stand two, maybe three thousand Dragonborn strong, led by a corrupt leader who's going to take them to death. You're wanting to kill them. I'm not yeah, going yeah, to do that. Totally, totally. So then give me a totally, better opportunity. Tell me how I'm not going to go slaughter my people. Take them to a storm I, site in which they are going to lead to their death. You're like putting a bunch of fucking words in my mouth here. So I'm then, talking about saving all peoples and you assume I want to kill the whole fucking dragon. No, I'm telling I'm you my the intentions. I'm asking the mechanics of that guy's control. I don't know. Like I don't know. I know he has influence people... over Bahamut. It's through that in which he holds their power. I cannot tell you whether or not he holds magical or any other control over them. I came here under my free will. Who is to say the others can't do the same? Hence why I come here, seeking the son of what many used to follow. Him showing up, not me, that could do something. You will do nothing. Him, though, he could change the whole tide. Unless the mind control that you told us exists... They're not going to give a flying rat's ass. Then why am I not controlled? Then why am I not controlled? His leading general. One of the ones he trusts. That's why I'm asking. Is it? Is he I don't magically know. controlling people or is he charismatic? We That's don't why I'm know. And I just gave you an answer and it's clearly not good enough for you, dwarf. So then let me do my bidding. Let me try and take the future leader that I want for the Dragonborn race. He could stop Argonis possibly on his own. A few words showing up. It could stop it in his tracks. At least halt it maybe for a day, give you time. Yeah, give us time to engage a Red Council member that, by the way, most likely has the ability to turn into a full adult Red Dragon. And that's not my and problem. And a Blood Mage. That are trying to end all and our that lives. that is not my problem. We also have a fucking extra-dimensional memory of some old fuck. He turns his back and starts everybody walking Controlling everybody kill everyone. Like, there ain't gonna be dragonborns at all. They've walked out of the room. Fuck them. You see our Londa look. You should not maybe speak to that you don't know. Your people are not under the pressure that his are. And you wish to speak to them and put them in a predicament? If, if, if the choice was all lives... You speak over everyone dwarves, and yet do not listen. All lives. You have no way of listening. You have no way. Are you going to ever listen? Or are you going to just be like everyone else in the media and have your thoughts forced down our throats cuz I'm full 
So if you have more servings, I will take no more. And you see her starting to get ready to turn and walk out of the room. We have help and wish we can offer, but not if you are going to work with a shallow-minded one who only seeks the way of his own. There are more races upon this cloud tops than just your own dwarf. And there and, are more... And, and, when, and, when and she walks out of the room. And when in my fucking talking did I say all for dwarves? At no fucking point have I said all for dwarves. As she walks out, she says, maybe listen more and talk less. You hear the door close? I'm, I'll follow her out. Follow As you, Yeah, that's fine. You follow her out. You guys see the door close. Oxford is standing there. You immediately see these two Dragonborn making their way down. And then um, uh, it'd be Arlanda, then you. And then Fuck This is still in the room with Denison and uh, Grendridge would not have gone up there. So it would just be you two. So you two still standing in the room. The door slowly still ajar, but not closed completely. They start walking down. You see Arlanda and the other two just disgruntled. There's no talking to the individual if he's going to be that way. There are millions of lives at stake and he only cares for that of his personal vendetta. We have ways that we can help. He turns and you see Smashdat. Tell fuck this, we'll be in town for five hours. If he wants to speak to us, he must come alone. If not, we will leave. I want to speak with him. I want him to help our people. But I need it to be done for the right reasons. They turn and you see Oxford open the door and they go walking out into the snow. You see Arlanda turn and say loud enough, I hope that in time, the greater for all causes can be seen. There are things going on greater here than that of whatever your friend thinks is pervy. We have individuals that need handled and we do not have time to sit here and squabble and make arguments. We needed a decision, and that is why I came. Orm, you need to make a decision on what you wish to do. I can offer help on one thing. Orion and I can aid you, and we can send word and try and help get word to Pug. We have a certain individual who is able to shape change down into a rat, and we know that he's still alive. And sending him food, keeping him slightly fed, Though we fear that he will not make it past two weeks. That is when the all-consuming night is going to take place, the winter solstice. We feel that whatever is going to happen is going to happen then. With the way and the rate of things, we feel that that is going to be the precipice at which point everything will happen. We need to be ready, if we are all still even alive by then. She starts to walk, and then she turns one more time. I know you all need to do what you need to do. I'm not saying you have to help anyone. But know that there are individuals that can help you. And without seeking those and asking for help where things are needed, you can't be everywhere at once. We have three storm sites, Aurum. We have memories. We can maybe get to a few, but we can't get to all of them. There's not enough time. You need to make your friend understand that allies are needed. Three strong individuals are not enough to save the world. You need help. You are a smart one. And I know you will talk to him. But you need to make him understand that people can help him. People can help you all. And through that help is how we're going to get through this. Because if not, we might as well all just go fight our own battles. And I'm not strong enough to defeat a Revenoff Draconius or a fucking Storm Sight. So I will lose. And in time, you all will. And then we all will. She walks with you a few more as you accompany her out to the front. You walk out into the snow. She looks at you. If there's anything on your mind, leave those words with me now before I leave. When we first met, 
you aided us when we had been running. We had been weak. We had been hunted for days. I asked you then if we could use your name your assistance and gave it. You've given it again and again and again. And I appreciate that greatly. Something I've never forgotten. Something that I care for. I am sorry for my friend. Oceans he, are high though. Times are tough. He I believe that has right intentions. The way it is expressed, though, is often misunderstood. I know that we need help. We've always needed help. We would not be here today without help. Your help, Denistine, Grendrick, Percy, the Storm Chasers, Jack Fien Onru. We wouldn't be here without the people who we have relied upon. I know what I want. Buckus is being pulled in another direction. Magnus has another direction on his mind. It's, it's hard to find a focal point when there is just so many. She takes a moment, and as you say that, she kind of just looks up into the sky as the morning sun's kind of coming up, and she just says, I guess it's time someone takes the lead. And I guess someone needs to just decide what needs to be done. Sometimes you lose friends. Why do you think it's just Orion and I? Tough calls have had to have been made. But when they're made for the right reasons, let you sleep better at night. I'm gonna walk downstairs. You walk down. He's still there. Yeah, you see him still talking. I lined up. He turns and you take a few steps out. Do you know anything or have heard anything about time travel? Orion speaks on it sometimes time maybe possibility of it he thinks it's capable he thinks it happens he thinks that the ability to blink in and out of planes is only a beginning time travel he doesn't think should be far beyond that so who's to say someone doesn't hold that power? I travel could really help us. <laughs> you guys yeah, stand there. Should. You take a few just solemn thoughts together. No words are exchanged. She looks at both of you. I must go back to Amelia. If anything happens, and any more memories are exchanged, chance that I will not get them. I will come seeking where you are within the next few days. I have things that I must attend to with Pug. He is my goal currently, keeping him alive. His importance is that that I believe will be needed at some point. She turns, and she looks at Liam, and Denison, and Grendridge. That lapidary in there I know is Pug's brother. You are going to need to keep him, firstly, safe, and secondly, under close quarters. Do not let anybody know that you have a lapidary. They will come looking for you immediately, more than they already are, and he will die. She turns, she takes about five steps away from you. One second! I remembered something. And she teleports away. 
Ah, oh, man, we didn't, was we didn't let her said? meet Teldris. No, 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 no. Ah, damn. Yep. What? The last, like, ten seconds of what she just said. I'm gonna make sure we keep in close quarters and... Let's grab what? Orhold die. Okay. Or hold All I caught was Orhold die, and I was like, wait, I should have been paying attention to shit. So you, you see Grendridge, and basically most of the adults in your home, Grendridge, Dennisine. You see Lawden, he kind of starts just cleaning, not sure, as there's tensions in the home. You see that the Dragonborn take off and they start flying towards Inventus. You wait a few moments and you see that they do make their way towards the city. Or this town, I guess I should say. You guys, in your house. Magnus, you... Up in your room. Fuming, because people think I'm racist and don't care for others. Still. <laughs> still. <laughs> still up there. Yeah, yeah, prejudice is a better... Would it be, would it be, would it be yeah. prejudice? Yeah. Would it assume I didn't care about Dragonborn? And then my first suggestion... What are you the, doing? The, what, the, are, the, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm brainstorming. About what? About what that what I was gonna fucking suggest to that dragonborn guy to buy us time so we could handle all our shit. So are you doing anything now that you're up I'm here while everyone out. else? While I'm everyone else like, is while everyone else was doing that, were you just self reflecting? No, I was fucking actually trying to figure out how to handle the problem that guy was fucking giving us with our time constraints, but he wouldn't fucking let me fucking say it. Are you, I imagine Magnus just comes down the stairs just talking out loud. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah. like, this motherfucking guy <laughs> fucking guys. says I don't fucking care about Dragonborn. Well, my best friend is a fucking Dragonborn. <laughs> like, Grunger just comes up to you with a drink. I don't know, but maybe this will help. It's quite early, but uh, he sees the veins I'm, kind of bulging out of your three forehead. three beer gallons into my alchemy jug. <laughs> My blood is alcohol right now. It's like 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what are you guys doing? I, I fucking burst into the room. And I'm like, guys, now that fucking fuck this is asshole of an uncle isn't here. You guys remember, you guys remember when we did a terrorist attack in Audrey? Yeah. Why don't we substitute the explosion words with, like, a knockout gas? <laughs> and make a army-wide knockout gas carpet bomb. Yeah. Now, as you... Are you saying... You're saying this out loud to everybody, right? Yes. As you say that, you see Dennisteen... He kind of comes forward. The terrorist attack against vampires before you talk about the morality no. of our terrorist attack. So, <laughs> uh, we kind of overheard your argument upstairs. Memories? Fragments? Something. We weren't trying to listen, though Oxford was. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, he kind of told us some things, but for the... Don't tell anybody outside the house, for, Oxford. For the gist of it, though... Any of this. We all did get some memories. One of the one of the things I wanted to do today in some of the downtime was talk to individuals about the things they were called. Well, while you guys were up there, we were kind of going over some things. Grendridge and I, we definitely remembered something and a bunch of bullshit, but something pertinent. Grendridge remembers the men that kind of met with him when they were doing those underground excavations. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, this dentist you talking to him? He uh. You see Grendridge, yeah, we, um, uh, we think, Dennisine thought that one of the individuals that helped him build his, uh, council, you know, that big building, think, um, both those individuals had these scarred hands. We remember that. And then when we remembered they were scarred, we remember that they weren't just scarred. The Denison, and you look at Denison, yeah, they were burnt. The individual had burnt hands. He was wearing clothes that covered most of them, but. Like this? Uh, I mean, kind of hilt, but. Kinda. But he was uh, human. 
He looked as if. Oh. Wait, wait, did you say burn? Yeah. Specific, like, like, like fire, like a burn scar. Oh no! Is this, is this ringing any bells? This is. It's all connected. Everything's connected. Well, we thought that maybe that was weird because. Brendridge said he remembered somebody talking about there being this red-robed individual you guys were always talking about. And if this individual that we possibly didn't remember until that storm, and now all of a sudden with those memories, maybe this is the guy who keeps taking some of our memories. When I attuned to this sword... It, it singed into my skin. I'm wondering. And. Hmm. Burn Scar screams fire word to me. And. Especially if that sword was. You, bought, you, you guys killed it from the fucking elemental, yeah? Grendridge just looks. Well, if whatever was in the. Brendridge, what was his name? He just kind of looks. Uh, if that was the individual inside the storm, supposedly, or at least something inside the storm, and it it it's burned possible you. That whoever you're speaking of is the mage or whoever that is has been setting up these storms. With so there could be elemental weapons or objects in all these. Storms. I'd say it's a safe bet that there is an object in all storms, period. Also, the person controlling the storms is the person controlling the Red Council and Herod and that rocks guy. So it is possibly all just tied into something that has got to do with this one individual. And not only is the plan nefarious, it's also huge. Who saw the hooded red figure at the meeting? Was it? Was it? Um... Ooh, I gotta look. Hang on. Wait, Wait you just what? told us. Yeah. Told us what? They were at that meeting. Yeah. Was it Arlanda? No. Are you talking about the big meeting when we went to the Andre? The big meeting, and they said they saw the hooded red figure up in the... Oh, yeah, there was a random hooded red figure. That's, that's yeah, it, it was... Uh, figured that there was, he was the puppet. It wasn't. There was an... Oh, God, who was that? I want to say it was... Was it the random dude in Andre? Yeah, I want to say it was the dude that was the, the... Everyone thought it was crazy, and he said that there's a guy that lives in there, and he always is up in the ceiling watching above the council and, and sitting... up. Yeah, and, and, and he could just see, yeah, and then disappeared through. He had some viewing port that was above the meeting center when the council was having the meeting in a media, and all that was really said is that he was some dark silhouetted figure viewing in. But you guys were told that he knew that above the, like, main council member that this porcelain building, like, this bright structure that stood above all was built, too. And that had been standing there since the beginning of the media. <coughs> Albert Otto's dad? That mm-hmm. crazy guy? Yes. Okay, so let's do a list of the things Over we have Robo. to do Robo. as quick Robo. as possible. Yeah. I already did that. You already did that. What is this? What is this? Like? So we got Sorry, some. Please. We got. We got to delay the dragons, or somehow take fuck this to stop them, which is a stupid fucking idea. Actually, no. To clarify, Rober told you all that. Arlanda told you there was an individual up top. That's right. Okay. You were right. Okay. It was both. Because yeah. once you once I'm like no Rober. He laid the baseline of there's an individual, there's this big building there, yeah. somebody watches the and then Ar- Arlanda very specifically said someone was in attendance. Yeah. You don't know who, you didn't see, but you know that they were roped. I was gonna say, I don't know who else we know that went to that meeting. Right. No, right, that's why yeah, I was talking like, like, they don't know anybody. It wasn't Percy, her. yeah. So yeah, it was right. yeah, it had She's to have the been the only her. one we know who went right. to that meeting. Yep. So So yeah, the storm in Yorwood with the Dragonborns. We have the storm in Landen with the Red Council. We have Amidia, our invitation. And then I put try and time. <laughs> Can somebody see the time turner? I, I would love please. to be able to stop time. Um, I mean, I the things that I want to do uh, right now is uh, talk to people about memories they've unleashed uh, or recalled. 
Um, In the next, like, 48 hours. I mean, I already know what I mean. Okay, we need to learn specifically when the dragons are going to hit the storm site. I, you weren't there, but they told me that they'll be waiting in Inventus for the next five hours. So if you want to go talk to them, they said come along. Yeah, which is why we need to discuss the dragon issue. We have five hours. Kate, now, I will say this now. You splitting up from us is not only stupid, it's inefficient, and I, there's a 60% I would, chance I agree. As it much as I would work. love to help, I, I hate Unless we all then that wouldn't benefit our main goal. No, it would, because if we do get there and we end up killing the storm site and stopping it, like, there, there's a bunch of positives that can come with helping the dragons. The issue with helping the dragons is, are they going to hit the storm the same time Red Council hits Land End? So the issue here is we need to delay one of the groups. And the easiest to delay would be the dragon group, considering they have a, a wyvern. If we can make something that they could put in the water that the army uses that knocks them out, or makes them drunk, that just blows them down like a fucking two days so we can get to the fucking Red Council and handle that and then hit the dragons, that solves all the issues with time. Shit, what is it that you... I want to, uh, I think our, our, the largest opportunity we have is taking out a Red Council member, the Blood Mage, whose name I cannot fucking remember. Eldor tricks us. And, <laughs> and, and he'd get a conflict. I, I, I didn't, I didn't write down there's, his fucking there's name. I'm like, Chance Trick, multiple no. reasons <laughs> no. that we can't help the dragons. I got every fucking <laughs> in this house name, <laughs> not the goddamn Blood Mage. <laughs> Uh, and, um, I mean, it, I wouldn't, I mean, if, if Gustav Thunder Rider also gets involved, I wouldn't mind taking him out either. But we also, we could probably... The opportunity, the opportunity and the morality of Landon because of your, you guys' past party member, Gildor, being important, yeah. is why Landon is our top priority. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I can't in good conscience because that guy fucking ignored me that piece of shit. Let those dragons all go fucking die. So you're I I don't know if you're also not putting it together, but the, currently the largest enemy we have is the Red Council, who is allied with Herod, who is allied with the young Ross. Oh, I a hundred percent know. The they issue are not the issue... allied, allied with the dragons. So if uh, the storm the site falls to the dragons, that is not the hands of the Red Council. Uh, again, that is what was what was the memory's name again? Full name. The memory of Ralanoff what? Draconius. Draconius. It's distinct. And he's been and he's been known to carry around a red gem. A lot of people carry around red gems. No, specifically a red gem, specifically known for memory magic. And all of a sudden we have a violently grown like group of dragonborn that worship a uh, idol of Muhammad that doesn't Share any of the normal qualities Bahamut is usually known for. So there is a at least a sixty to seventy percent chance that the dragons are also being controlled by the same guy that's controlling the Red Council. And I will just put not to persuade or give anything, but you did know that at some point a robed individual did meet. With the dragon scale keep, don't know with oh. who. Mm -hmm. You just know that there yeah, was... that was a long time ago. I remember that. Yeah, that that's was. Oh, that's a vague memory. It, nope, it, don't remember that. That's all. Yeah. That's so, all that was said. So was that's, that... that's 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 the issue with this land versus the dragon is we don't know who's the puppet master behind the dragons is most likely the same puppet master. You don't know if it was red robe though. That's what I was going to say. Land like the red council period. Because we have an entire race of people that are dragonborns being manipulated by people that could turn into actual dragons seems like a logical leap. That's fair. That's a fair point. 
Especially considering the Red Council, as we know, would most likely all turn into red dragons, considering the gems they have been in possession of are red. Well, and what did you guys just find out? turn into a black dragon. What did you guys just find out? That a number of dragon wards were sacrificed in some kind of draconic ritual in the media. And five went missing. Hmm. Yeah. And there's five Red Council members. Uh, is Albrecht Otto included in that? From my understanding, he's one of the five that yep. we were told, but even then, he's not he's not been elected yet. Is he? Okay. Well, double check that, make sure. But you do know that he's been one, two, three, selected four, by the Red Council. Five. Okay. Yes. I think. Mean, fuck. Damn it. I just realized oh, the, the Red Council member that's going tomorrow was named, and I wanted to get the information. And then she left. Left. Where's life? Just have a message. <laughs> He's actually not. As you say that, looking around, after the <laughs> event with you, life is been out by Gildor's tomb with Teldris. And you don't really know what he's been doing. Life's always been all doing his own thing. Yes. If someone goes make a message, what's your name? For the information. <laughs> We'll, we'll hold on. We'll hold on that. Um, yeah. Now, so, I mean, you can if you if you want. I mean, you we'll, can use them. Use them. Uh, I, I'd rather do it all in one go. Okay, so. Dragons. We have five hours. The best solution I came up with was somehow delaying the army with, like, a fucking magical chemical attack. Instead of a magical chemical attack... These individuals believe you are an important figure in, in, in their mind and possibly in the rest of this people's mind. You have something that should be able to deliver a message. Perhaps if you called for them to halt, if not just for two days until you can arrive. The issue with that is we know his dad was fucking murdered by the current leader of the dragons. Yeah. And we don't know what the public opinion of his father is besides from the guy who stole his name. He's probably a badass. You see Granger just say, look at him. His name was Farkdis. His dad's name was Smashdat. <laughs> and I think his uncle was Scrooda or something. Scragjaw. Scru- fucking badass. Like, Scragjaw was a cool name. He said it wasn't shit, but I thought it was the coolest of the bit of the three. So no if offense. if if you wanna, I don't know. All I'm gonna say is is that y'all, I want to do something, and if we're gonna do something, we need to do. People are acting. Yeah, that's why I said we have five hours. So we need to start brainstorming on a way to actually delay this army because you appearing hey. in person hey. ain't gonna fucking help. Than me. Write something. Send me. I don't know. Do you have better than nothing? Do you have like a seal, like in a like something that's like this is officially you? Like. Yeah, you. Well, I don't know. Do you have that ring still? What you very started the campaign with. The ring. Oh yeah, yeah. you had a like family a, ring. You had you that like ring. Signet ring or something. I mean, you I, did. I don't think I ever. You did, and yeah. in, in I remember the in your issue first here, campaign. Though, is, is this dude controlling the dragons, like, above board? Like, is he just, like, a charismatic guy? Because no if he's just a charismatic guy, you showing up might actually impact his plans and drag some of the dragons away. The issue is, we don't know if that's happening. <laughs> Infowars. <laughs> like, yeah. We also don't have the time. And we don't have the time to figure out if that's what's happening. So sending you alone to just be like, be stop. So send me. Ain't gonna fucking matter for shit. And a letter is gonna matter for less shit besides getting the messenger brutally murdered by a guy who killed his dad. Are we all gonna die if it all fucking fails anyway? Hilariously, if they attack... No, no, no. I heard you up there yell at those people, Magnus. You said, specifically, we're all doomed. Yeah, if the Red Council finishes land in and so, fucking sweeps through all the storm sites. So then, send me to a storm site then. If 
I can't help going with you, I'm tired of fucking sitting here playing just keep other the children. Old, what I would need you to do would be going to where Pug is. Finding as much You want me? A our, our I'm not going to... You can't go to a media. I can't go, go to a media! You, go to media. you were banned, I remember. This is, this is Denistine. Rendridge. General. Ex-general. Yeah, Denistine, dude, was the council leader who yeah. formed all the... Yeah. Cool guy. I gave you guys your tomes and stuff, your scrolls. Fuck this. This is your people. In one way or not. Whether or not you claim them or not. It's been so long. It's a whole different thing. Do you think you can persuade them? I think I can try. Do you I think that you can do it before they make it to Land End? I can try. What's that new gadget you got? It's a fucking terrible idea. Have you ever been to your I know what I have to do. Oh, okay. I'll be back. By yourself? With Tennessee. With Grendel. Yeah, but you're the one that can We're, teleport. You're, you're I'm on not travel. leaving. I'm not leaving the city. I'm going to talk to them. Alright. Uh, I'm going to make a fucking to to note about a possible magical chemical agent to knock out an army with magics. Grendel is coming with you. Yeah. You gather yourselves and you guys poof, go walking out the front door. I might come in town later if you're still there. All right. So you guys have taken about 30 minutes after everything's happened. So yes. you uh, start making your way there. So while he's doing that, you or him start going around asking people uh, memories. I want, I want, there's a, the very least two people I want to talk to. Okay. Uh, and only one of them is currently here. Okay. Uh, and that is Teldris. Okay. I want to see if Teldris remembers any. Oh, that's a super. So uh-huh. you go, you uh-huh. go walking out towards the gravestone of where Gildor is near the back part of your home. Gildor's not there. Or er, uh, life, sorry. Yes. Well, Gildor's too. I mean, no, yeah, yeah. Um, Gildor's not there. You, you see both of them dressed in almost like this darkish black. Life taken off all of his armor, but you see him still wearing that crest, though this time not on his front shield. You see it worn on the back of this cloak, very adorned. You walk up. What does the crest look like? Satan. <laughs> um, it's like a. Uh, I think it's a skull with horns oh, okay. off of it. <laughs> All right. And let me double check. Think of the most evil thing you can think of, and then like double that. No, I have it. Hang on, hang on. I have it. Yeah. Because it is. I know it's black and white, and I think it's um. Here it is. It is a, um, basically, it's like a, right? Like a no, because, well, I asked him what it was, I and it's. Before you talk to them, can I, can I have this? Yeah, 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 I just want to make sure I get this about, right. So, the issue with saving Gilmore's soul like besides this being the best opportunity to kill the blood mage and the red council this would be the best opportunity for us to sweep through these storm sites so without the red council opposing us which means we could technically hoard all of the weapons of the party of I think it's just a black skull with white. I think it's just a black and white skull. That's all it is. I'm pretty okay. sure. Nothing, nothing specific. I don't think it has anything depicted on it. I think it's just a skull, a circle emblem that's black and white. That's all it is, I think. Something, something that I would see in Halo 2 lobbies. You, you've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you'd slap it on. Yeah. Um, you've seen this walking up. You, you hear him muttering. Mm-hmm. Like, you've heard him a lot. Like, when you were around him, he would always kind of... St- Stay off by himself every once in a while, muttering. As soon as he hears the footsteps, it stops. You see Teldris kind of look over his shoulder. Life does nothing. Teldris comes up to you. Ooh, what is it, Orm? Um, I'm sure I'm sure other people have been talking. Um, last night was certainly eventful. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was memories. One who has, who we know has had memories raised or manipulated. I was hoping that maybe some of that affliction was relieved. 
as soon as you kind of get a better look at him, it looks as if he's almost been crying. And then he kind of looks at you. I was talking to Uncle about some of them. I remember some scary things that... I remember these hands. These large hands. They used to touch my shoulders and tell me that I was doing great work. And when I would look over my shoulder, these hands, they were large and burned, almost scabbed. Nails were no longer on his fingertips. This deep voice that spoke told me that no matter what I did, that I could not run far enough. I have memories of other young boys and girls of my age. We worked on machines created by some black powder. Some of it was in ore form. We infused it with mundane materials, creating these machines, testing them, infusing them with many different types of magic. And then we found that the word was conflux. And whatever these mages, and whatever this man with Cassandra Volt was putting inside these things, it wasn't to start a storm. We were told it was to create abominations. But I'd never seen an abomination, have you? I don't think Magnus has actually seen one yet. We were told that they would create these creatures and things. And at first, we saw them. It messed with the organisms, changing structures. But then, as we kept developing these machines, the final ones that we developed, they didn't change creatures anymore. It took something from them. All you had to do was be around it for long enough. And it started siphoning thoughts, memories, collecting them into these machines. Time would go by. Cassandra Volt would take these machines and take them to whoever this individual was. Gathering all of this information is what he said. It was going to be used for something. He was looking for something. And then these gems, a scaled cavern, I remember something being said. There was a bright red crest in the sky. And then things changed. We saw the rocks army, it mobilized. It was like a great dive for whatever was in Geom that day. When Cassandra and everyone left, and there was not many gods, that's when I ran. That's when I fled. That's how I made it. We took our way across a bridge. Almost everyone died. Wait, you made it through cryptics? Yeah, I don't know a name. You're not there. It's also true. It's also true. <laughs> um, I'm just wandering about. <laughs> like, no, I'm just walking no, in the background. I'm like, no, what the fuck you just no, said? No, no, no. Remain yeah, yeah. like, We made it to some bridge. We were brought to some dark individual. We had to make a choice. We could be brought off that bridge, but a symbol, Mark, and you see him, and for the first time, he takes his shirt and he opens it. And you see this tiefling red in skin as this lettering 
all the way down his chest. I'm wondering how, like, in ink, or is this, like, burned? Almost both. Etched in, like, a golden burn. Like the lettering you saw floating amongst Cryptic's text. You see this engraved in his body. And you see this, like, flowing glow like you guys had tattooed on your arms, though this has been there far longer. And you can see that none of these names are at all faded. Uncle said that he thought he could help. (coughs) But every time he tries, it just hurts more and more. You look and you see these names. Some are written in common. Some are not. And as you just kind of look through, you see maybe 50. You notice... You notice... At the top, the two that are most prominent in your quick look that you can understand even, even though the flesh and the language is all kind of ripped and torn, is you see the name Percy. You see Arlanda. You think for a moment you even see Denistine and Grendridge's name. And you look and you start thinking that maybe this is the other side of Cryptic's puzzle. The names you guys were presented with were almost alliances with what you thought were the Red Council. And as you kind of look through, even in other names, you see accordances with people that are on the other side. You start seeing names of people that were good individuals that were trying to help Cassandra. No one really prevalent, but people that maybe were a part of the Unbroken Allegiance at some part, or maybe at least had sway with them. Two lists. So, if that's true, I got Pete. Hold on, this is above board. Don't, because I gotta get it out before I forget about it. If the list we were presented were people who were sketchy and part of the the Red Alliance Council. One of the names we received was Esro Enoji, which is the the leader or one of the leaders of the the Silver Quills or whatever they're called. One of John's people. Yeah, the Leaf Cove. Oh, oh! I just had to get that out of this fucker. And when and, t- and when you think that, you have a flashback that when Esro Enoji left you guys, you two, because he wasn't even there. You guys were in the field near Redstone. And he literally told you guys something's happening at the Leaf Cove. He thought that maybe his wife or something was having a coup d'etat or, you know, any doing something while he was gone. Mm-hmm. And that that sacred place of these rangers, of these very strong people who were trying to defend the woods, something was going on. You don't really know what, but there was some sense of corruption, and that is why he needed to go back immediately. Right, and he said, right, he said, yeah, (laughs) yeah, so, and you can piece that together to kind of say that you would have a, I'd say, a good and maybe a bad list. That's wild as hell. Okay. Are there any names that I don't recognize that are in common? Um, I'd say you go through and in common that you can quickly discern. You see, so you, you take a few minutes now. Mm-hmm. Um, you see his uncle's name. You see uh, Smosh that as well. Though the name... It doesn't seem to have a last name. You go through and you see Argonus Cavalier. That catches you off guard, knowing he's possibly aligned with the Red Council, though maybe not, seeing him on this list. Maybe there is some decency in that individual. You don't see any other names that really stick out. 
I'd say if you really wanted to, you'd need to know, or at least take, you know, a couple hours really go. The flesh and everything's really torn. Like, you yeah. need to, like, be like reading something that's, like, almost healed back, almost, in a way. He looks at you. We got off the bridge, though. After you gave me this list. But in turn, for every individual he put on me, he took one of my friends till I was the last one left. Sacrificing each one, I knew I had killed them all. Next thing I know, I was awoke on the opposite side in Geo. Met a few individuals and I started walking west. I headed towards Refuge Pass, and that's the last place I remember. Before I ran into an individual who was dressed in black and took me through some series of caravans across Stonebridge and into Audre. We went across Deception's Pass. And that was all that I knew. They kept me drugged. I don't know how long the journey was. The next thing I knew, I awoke in a temple. The skeleton bodies rotting around me. And I was laid in a sacrificial temple. Supposed to be figuring out how to unlock some vault. That was what my last goal was from Dur Del Herit. To find, or at least figure out a way to unlock some vault. Were you successful? I was not, though I think Dur Del was close. After his meeting in a media, The ones that were working there said that he was going to come back with more information. That he was meeting with someone. And with that information, he hoped to come back and solve whatever that problem or that riddle was. But whatever that vault is, it holds something very powerful. That's all. He stands there. Life doesn't move. He stops his muttering and he just kind of kneels there with his back turned about 10 feet from you. Thank you. He just kind of thank you for everything you all have done as well. Without your help, I'd be dead. Kind of turns and looks at life and then actually turns and kind of starts walking back inside. He just turns and looks. I'm going to go inside now. I'm getting cold and I'm going to eat and rest. He goes inside and looks past you, Magnus, and well, you're not there. Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, does life just remain there kneeling on the ground? Yes. I'll... Put a hand on his shoulder. No response. Uh, he's a stranger. I'll leave. Give me a perception check as you put your hand on his shoulder. 13. You notice that as you like put your hand on his shoulder, you don't really go in front of him, <laughs> but you kind of just stand there. And as you do so, you feel as if there's like almost nothing coming from him. Like when you put your hand on his shoulder, it almost like teeters him a little bit. And it kind of catches you off for a moment. And you say that, and with no response, you kind of just barely glean the side of his face. And you see his eyes completely blacked over. And you just see him staring at Gildor in his tomb. Non-response. Well, that's worrisome. I, I can 
once you have this under control. Just gonna leave. <laughs> you got this. You just kind of okay. <laughs> just leave and start tiptoeing back. Nothing changes. Yeah. Uh, you make your way inside. All right, Magnus, are you doing anything while this is going on? And then we'll go to what you're doing. Oh. That's creepy. <laughs> no, besides discussing There's probably everybody some... wants everybody's back together, I don't got anything. All right. Some DVD so, going on there. while that was going on, you made your way into town with Grendridge. You very easily find your way into the center of town where many people are surrounding these three dragonborn who are still sitting atop this large wyvern who are kind of mounted up on top of this small building. They see you kind of walking in. It's about noon. Grendridge walking next to you. So, uh, you know what you're going to say? I have an idea. I need to talk to them first. All right, we're killing them in case shit gets wild? No. Okay. Just making sure <laughs> yeah. we're on the same page. All right. Um, I'll just back you up then. And uh, well, if I got to go anywhere, got some food. And he looks in his pouch, and he you see he's got some jerky in there. So, uh, I'm ready. You guys make your way up. You see as they approach, one of the uh, black-scaled individuals jumps down and motions towards your uncle. The wyvern kind of... <laughs> and cascades down, and the crowd kind of separates. You see individuals kind of move aside. He steps down. So you've come to speak with me after all. <coughs> he looks at Grendridge, and Grendridge just kind of stops and then lets you kind of walk on your own a little bit. So... He kind of looks at other people around and motions you over kind of to a little alleyway that's kind of yeah. shielded by oh, some people. Somewhere. You take about two minutes. You get to this somewhat of a I secluded tell, area. Uh, just to kind of wait. Oh, I got you. Don't worry. Um, these people fucking know me. No one's going to do anything. Hours, yeah. yeah. He, they all stand off. He just watches. You guys go in. So, nephew... You can change many tides. You know that. I don't know that. But I'll start off with saying this. I can't come with you. Okay. And I'm sorry. But there may be something I can't. Tell me. I can send a message to the people. And I would like to send my friend here. I trust him. He just kind of... That loud guy. And I trust that you will protect him. <sighs> really, you want to send him? You think he'll get your message across? Well, I have these scrolls that I can envy with magic. His eye kind of raises. I possibly... Looks like right... These words, people if you use some kind of illusionary magic that could portray myself as like a specter or something. You know okay. I mean? Yeah, like a, a vision, like an illusion. Yeah, like a, vision. Yeah, like a yeah. minor illusion of you just speaking it. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. And just write these words and then. You, you basically want to use magic to fucking throw like a Star Wars. Yeah, tell me, Graham. Yeah. 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 Paul Graham, there you go. Oh, yeah. Or yeah, yeah. D2 message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Like, help us fuck this year. Oh, no. I hope. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll. I'll pull out these scrolls in this quill and I'll explain it. Yeah. Quill, I don't know your magic ways, but if you think this is what you want to entrust your people with, I can only trust you. I what? have more important things. Not that your things are important. That's the poison. Personally, for me and my, my friends, we are dealing with a lot. And I would love to help, just the timing is a little off, but I'm going to help anyway. The best way I can think. Let's hope that's enough. So I take this with him. And I'll also give him this family heirloom. Okay. He takes that. Just for an even better point. Okay. And what happens when... We have Dragonborn at our aid. What if we do get the majority? In the message, in the message I would like to explain. Shh. 
that no, we they're... that I personally have dealt with, and that if they decide to go, they get all. The I would like to encourage that they wait for me and my party. And we. Will. And what if Argonus says otherwise? The risk we have to take. Because what if I? What if we show up and he still doesn't? Do we let the people decide on their own? If you tell them these words, they decide to take it upon themselves and overthrow him? Are you ready for that? I think in the grand scheme of things, that probably has to happen either way. What if it fails? Are you ready for your people to be downtrodden? Do or do not, there is no trial. I understand then. All right. I'll take your word. We shall travel. I can probably head them off or nightfall. I fly straight through. If your friend does not make it back, then none of us will most likely make it back. I will defend him, but know that this could go ass up, and if so, at least we tried, right? So, you have some influence on these people. Some. I'll be able to tell them that I saw you, that I am not influenced by any means other than for their safety of our people in the future and whatever that holds. That's all I hold. The rest, I came for you. I will not divulge any of hold me other than that you have found me. If all I right. want to help my people and just warning them that they could die without our party. He gets ready to leave, and then this is the last time I see you. And we fail. Just promise me that this is the last, or not the last, attempt to save our people. That whenever you are done doing whatever you are doing, that you will seek out our people and their freedom. Our greatest threat right now will influence all understood and very quickly he takes what you've wrote and gathered and he goes off he looks at the individual white male you're with me on the water <laughs> and emotions I'll, I'll give him my ring and i'll just say just open this letter it's imbued with magic and just watch the show <laughs> Granger just turns i guess i am going yeah yep i'll keep you safe all right, he comes up and he gives kind of an arm lock, brotherly embrace. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you. Good luck and uh, don't die. He turns and very quickly gathers with uh, Smashdat and goes onto this wyvern. They turn, they look at everybody, people back away and <laughs> quickly take off and you see them fly immediately northeast. You turn, you start heading back towards your estate. Now by yourself. Is there a blacksmith? There is, in town. Can I try to sell... Yeah, you... you... No, I don't okay. want to. Just okay. in case. <laughs> All right. I was going to sell that great axe, <laughs> but it's like... Okay. Store. Just in case. So there's a tassel? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess right. I'd still do that one. Yeah. Rainy day. You could have given it to Grandford. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, so you guys reconvene. I am actually, as he's coming towards the estate, I'm actually going away from the estate. <laughs> in the okay, high five. Yeah, yeah. Magnus, anything? Nothing. Just stewing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright. 
What you doing, uh, Orm? I'm gonna go talk to Gerald Strom about his memories. Okay. He seemed uh, he seemed quite distraught about what he remembered. One second, I'm not suing. I'm following him. <laughs> so I'm gonna be I included. Gonna, gonna, I'm gonna not be included. Like, Sorry. Right, so, so, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say like, where are you going? Like, yeah. Okay, so you, you want to talk to Gerald? You, uh, yeah, I'll come on. you see him walking, right. and about 35 feet behind him, you see Magnus this just talking to himself. And about 50% of the way in between them, you're just like, yeah, I guess I'm fucking going. So fucking you guys, yeah. 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 <laughs> so you you guys turn. Fuckers, we're you gone. Get, you guys start, form. Now it might be. <laughs> you make it just uh, about another five minutes back into town, and you guys know exactly where Gerald Strom's building is. It's more in the heart of the center of town. Um, it's a very small little hovel building. Uh, you guys go and or immediately as you go to knock on the door, as you do so, it's slightly open and it just kind of pushes, and you hear. <laughs> And Gerald immediately comes to the door. Seems sleep deprived, wired, dark circles under his eyes. <gasps> what is it? I believe we made an appointment to talk about memories today. <laughs> I knew we'd talk soon, but um and he's looking around, seems extremely fucking paranoid. Like I mean paranoid. Come in quickly, come in. Oh, so he looks as bad as I do right now. Great. Sweet. You guys make your way in, and he immediately closes the door and puts his back on it. <laughs> so, it just kept coming to me last night. I wanted to talk about it all night, but we, we needed your rest, so I left it. You know how many people came and saw me last night telling me things that they remembered? The storm. Why, why did it hold memories, I thought? Why did we create these storms? Well, at first I thought magical inventions, creations, that's what we were told, right? They were they were housing magic, great magic, the, the ether to the... No lies! There was no magic being held within there. I've had storm sources. I've been trying to figure out the heart of these storms my entire life for what? They're not storms. My whole life has been a lie, a flaw. For what? I mean, technically they are storms. No, they're not. See, I thought that. They're not. Listen, listen. The movement, the elements, it's not. See, I thought that too. The way they move, it's not. Well, yeah. They're, no, no. They're sh- intelligent. No, 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 no. They're not intelligent. They're not. They're being controlled. They're not intelligent. Think, 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 think. They're storms. How do we control them in just a certain area? If they're intelligent, they would, they would go somewhere else. Somewhere where they could get bigger, create more power. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, Did you tell me what tell me? So what if... Cook, cook. What if... They're not searching for that? They're staying in these areas. Why? They're not going. They're maybe hindering movement? Why? What's... There. No. Memories. They're harvesting memories. No. The people that are victims of the storm. No, 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 no. Those are already stored. And I think it's storing more. No. No, 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 no. They were already taken. Because, listen, no one's getting more memories or they would keep flooding. We're all receiving lost memories from a long time ago. Not just recent. Which means that at some point, all of us came into some sort of contact with whatever infused those memories into that storm. When? Hexwell? We all are here. What are we all around? Something is taking those memories. Something is gathering up those memories and storing them. From just that specific time. I remember everything else leading up from that. But now I remember why I started inspecting those storms. When I was young, I was told as an academic scholar that these storms would hold the power to our future for inventions. That our blue gem would fizzle and run out at some point. But it hasn't. It's not even waned. We've never found power within these storms. No magic. So why do they exist? No one comes and studies them. 
Like they say, at least not for years. What are we gaining from them? Nothing. So they're just big housing scary wait storms. Minute. Wait a minute. Didn't we have didn't you have a vision that you told us about where the memory of Relinoth like brutally murdered the, the reverence guy and made him the storm? That was the one we all saw. Did we all see that? Uh, yeah, the one that was the did, did projection. You see that random guy? Right. So, okay, so, if those were all taken from that time point, then that wait something when, when is did, hiding when something. Did the party of the reverence go missing. Well, that's a long time ago. Myths, legends, thousands, hundreds of years ago, before us. But is it? But is it? See, that's where I start wondering. We're led to believe maybe these thoughts were from a long time ago. Maybe they're not. Maybe all of our little lives are being influenced. Little memories altered to believe you're this and I'm this. Maybe I am not as old as I no, think I am. It would ex the storms, the storms do steal memories, and they also keep them because you can't just like fucking take something and just but disappear. Not actively, it was but not active at one point. In but the but the mechanics of it is like what. Is influencing everyone at once. What is the one thing everyone in Hexwell has? Well, and then with? I thought, mm -hmm. no, not the calamity, because people have probably traveled to the surface before and then came to the cloud tops over maybe years, years, hundreds of years before maybe I was alive. And if before I was alive, if the calamity was longer than seventy-five years ago. Many people have traveled. But what I'm wondering is, is why store that memory in one storm? Why keep it fragmented in there where it can be actually gathered? Okay, I have a, I have a nutty theory. Maybe he's looking to add more things to it. The bank. Put more memories into it? No. I thought that too. But then I touch back on what you say, Magnus. And you're telling me that maybe time isn't really as old as we think. Maybe it's a lot older than what we think. And what's really going on is these storms are collecting everyone that died before us and storing their memories. And he or whoever is controlling the storm uses it as a memory bank from knowledge to be able to use it. And the it. storms also kill more people. Gathering more, more knowledge. Memories. Using that to control the cloud tops and we've been feeding into it. Keeping these storms safe We've been, we've been safe havening the actual I knowledge have, base in which could possibly be giving us knowledge. Now, when I saw the heart of the storm, why would it show it to me out of nowhere? Maybe someone who is controlling it is losing control of it, I thought. So then I thought, well, there's a new storm. Maybe someone's trying to control it. And he's losing control of the other storms. I've been thinking about this all night. Oh, there's another chance that, like, Bahamut. Have you heard of Bahamut? Like, the dragon god? Oh, like, yeah. Justice and yeah, 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 light yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there's, like... My current theory is that, that he's dead. And someone's trying to replace him. And it might be the same person that's controlling everything. Or Bahamut is trapped in one of these storms. So... I don't know if this... this I, so what I'm getting at is that... Storms are important. And I think it's time... 
We stopped protecting them. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Red Council is making complex weapons to destroy the storms. And the complex erases. I don't know if they're they're magic. They, they made a weapon to to kill one specific storm. The one theoretically no. they don't control. No, but there's another aspect. See, because the conflux weapon, if it destroyed a storm, would destroy the memories. Destroy everything that you know. It would, it would destroy the, the yeah. whole storm. Why would you make a weapon unless you wanted to hide something? Right, that's what the mechanics doing. of this specific conflux weapon, when destroying a storm that would unlock the population's memories... That wouldn't happen. No, a cover it would, up. It would directly destroy the memories. So you think there's a cover up? Well, I think what he's saying. They use the complex weapon to destroy the storm that they don't control because they oh don't my, want no. people to catch on to. No, and the reason and the reason they're going to land in to destroy it with a complex weapon is to test out complex weapon on a storm. And this is a storm they know doesn't have memories in it. This is the land end storm is purely a test of their complex weaponry. But if they go and destroy the other storm sites with these complex weapons, all the all these memories will be gone. It's possible that that they're moving to destroy the other storm sites. It's I believe more likely that they're just mean the specific one that they don't control now as you guys say this gerald does not know this and as you say this he says destroying storm sites controlling them that's what i'm saying i don't think they can control the one i saw the heart something's trying to possibly control the other Which one heart? maybe the one that we just here the one we destroyed i saw it before you guys showed i told you about it yeah, we know the swarms are being controlled by Relinov. I don't know who that is, but I know that the someone of him killing the guy from the Deliverance. But I don't know who he is. The legendary Lapidary. Do you know who Relinov is? Draconius. Cool, but I I don't know him. I don't know if he was five years ago or ten thousand. Is he relevant? Maybe. Well, it's it's a definite. What was the, what was the point you're trying to make? If the heart of the storm was showing, why? A new storm shows. So maybe lost control of that? Not keeping it together? Letting us see what's inside? Maybe they are trying to control that storm and they can't. Maybe that's why they created that weapon. Because maybe they can't control it. Or maybe whatever is there, they must destroy. Just going off what you've given me. How many members in the, were in the Dereverence? Five, and there's four storm sites. Something like that? A yep. fifth, a fifth theorized one outside of Hexwell. One, two, three, four, five. Which, it, was, it would have been five plus... I would assume would be plus big Papa Rocks. They could also be going to destroy this storm for the political. That's what we were told. Oh, that's right. definitely one of the reasons they're going to destroy the storm in late night, because it's a huge natural disaster it's made. But then you have to ask, why don't they just destroy the other storm? Maybe something's in that storm that they fear. That's, that's the issue, is they've been developing weaponry to destroy storms this whole time. And not only have they developed weaponry to destroy storms, they developed a specific type of weaponry that also destroyed the memories with it. And now, on top of giving them a storm that wouldn't, that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, besides Gildor's soul being up, being in, in the way. Well, maybe that has something to do is, with it. This is the time. Well, what's, the, what's the importance of Gildor's soul? Could, what could be the importance of it? Is there information that that soul holds? He was a essentially an experiment, from my understanding. Does he maybe understand something that somebody else doesn't? 
Is that why? We are led to believe there's some, there was some kind of power inside him that he didn't even know. Maybe the Red Council doesn't want people to know. And this Gildor created what you guys told me was part of that storm. Yeah, it was a part a gem made of his Eldrin seasonal powers. Been led to understand. And I just realized, like, have we ever seen another Eldrin? Nope. But if they're making these weapons to destroy these forms, why? I don't think they are. Right. Why would they want to destroy the storms? And why they're now? They're holding why they want to destroy the storms. I, if So, if the members of the Dermorans had their weapons... And this weapon was lodged in the storm. And the storm was created by Draconius. Then he put the thing there. If he wanted it back. There's, it would, it's, I would assume that he could just walk up and take it back. He is in control. I believe. I believe he is fully and wholly in control. So then he wouldn't want to destroy this. If these are a symbol of power. These are a method of oppression. There, the Red Council has intentionally. That's another point. The other point that is the opposite is they are a symbol of oppression now. But if the Red Council gallantly saves all of us from the storm, also destroying all the information that would incriminate them, also gaining up to four magical artifacts from the party of Dereverence, seems like a good show of force to give them an iron grip on the entirety of Hexwell. It's a possibility with no, it just seems unfair. but, um, the, the, if they wanted to go down that route, they have an entire organization dedicated to fighting storms that they have chronically that they have underfunded yeah. and denied access to better weaponry. Again, but the, the storm seekers until now have never been an asset to the Red Council. They've been like the fucking park rangers. Okay. Right, and they want to keep them. Yeah, but now instead of the red count, the storm they don't want the storm seekers to have power. That's why they've been clipped, because they'd be like the heroes. But the leader of the storms now reports to now. That happens now, and that's only one person. What if everybody's been clipped? What if this red council? is purposefully clipping everyone, keeping everyone dull. We're led to believe that we're this great inventious state. Maybe they just keep us just enough out of the know. We've had inventions halted before for years. We've always wondered why, What, like I said, these storms, they were developed to create inventions, to harness magic that never used. Maybe everyone's being clipped. Yeah, that's that's my point. And to keep <clears throat> us clipped, and also to show force and gain public approval, there's, there's literally no negatives to them giving up on the storms now. None. So then what's our action? Regardless of what yeah. they're doing, yeah. you're... Well, you're well, right now, it's kill the Red Council member that had the hand it. Yeah, I think I think discussing motivations without more information is reaching the end of its usefulness. Yeah, I agree. Important to know. Seems a a time for action for the storm sites. I will tell you, the storm sites, with my extensive research, they are very different. The one that I studied here was the weakest. That's why I studied it. It was the safest one. So you must be warned. I will tell you that most of them are usually infused with what is around them. The one that we created in your wood was created within a jungle infestation. It usually involves many different elements of vegetation that are also brewed within wind. I just realized that. The part, the members of the Reverence are also in the gyms, right? 
you're led to believe possibly so, so that means these storm sites might not be the deliverance also no yes. they could be other being sealed in these storms uh i mean if you recall one the... of them possibly being bahamut i think i think the elemental was pretty clear that he wanted to just fucking kill us he was not a fan of us there was no remorse there was no regret like oh i'm being controlled against my will well that wouldn't i, that I think he, he has will i think he was just a warden whose prisoner was a sword a great object of power my assumption would be that the rest of the, the storms are very similar can i see a sword if, if the other storms contain these weapons I would imagine that these objects of power are almost like looking it over a piece of the battery that keeps them going. That's the issue, though. Is this one was the these weakest aren't infused storm. with parts of the storm. This one, this one, he just told us was the this weakest sword, storm, which means the objects of power might not be objects infused with part of the storm that we just. Which would be he kind of looks down the cracks, and you see as it is flamed and imbued with like this red crack you see in some of it where it's splintered into the green the reddish orange almost changes a slight hue still remaining red throughout the entire crack but you see different little glints of the colorations this will be able to be infused with some of the storm's powers have you absorbed any other elements with it i just got it from my attunement, I understand that I can have multiple elements on the sword. It looks like it can imbue with many, absorb them. He kind of looks over the crack and just hands it back. Take each attunement from each storm. You will be given four different. If you can find the fifth one possibly located that is spoken of in the rocks region, which we need to make a trip to, too. That needs to be found and also imbued into this sword. Though I don't see a fifth element. Great movie. <laughs> That's what I was yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah, as soon as I started, I'm like, oh. Yeah. I was like, oh, dude, I haven't seen that in a as, while. As he hands it back and you receive it, he tells you, just be careful of the elemental powers when embracing them. Storm's... I'm not like this one. They are very strong and can overwhelm you. Trying to control their own mental power may be a lot to take on. How, you know the, the basic strength, how strong is the storm in your wood? Probably one of the weaker next to the one. Gildre is most likely the strongest one. It surmounts over a body of water. The only way to get to it is by the flying or by boat or by having means of traveling on water. And that's if it's still over water. I heard that they are starting to move and I met with Arlanda about an hour or two ago and she told me if I had any info on the storm sites that I better tell her now. We spoke quickly about it and then she left. She told me that they were moving in what she believed to be the major cities in each region. So the Yorwood site is within a jungle. The Giltry Storm uh, is over a body of water. Uh, and what of the New All Storm? Where, didn't we go close to the New All Storm? The New All Storm is kind of in this big. It's it's uh, like a big old wind elemental that was that you literally saw many wind elementals like flowing within it, like within the vacuum of it. Um, that one just is over a huge plain. It was kind of like the one in um, Inventus, though. This one like is... Like a plain, like... Next to a mountain range. Like, like just like a grass plain? It's like a pl it's like a plain in between two large mountain ranges. So, like, wedged in, and this thing just kind of... It's just like this huge field. Yep, in, yep, in between, in between two it. Mountains. Two mountains, yep. Gotcha, okay. And it's right in between New Wall and the Contravance Holt. It's a valley. Yeah, right, right in between there. It just travels through there. Gotcha. Have we been... We've, we've seen that one, so we yep. could technically go and handle that right now. Yeah. <laughs> but let me rephrase. We can go and handle that whenever we're available. There you go. Because we've been there before. 
Now that one is quite strong. That is why the storm seekers put their headquarters in Aridens. Have business in your wood eventually, anyway. So uh Have been near your wood? Nope. That's where Joey's character is from. Yeah, I mean, the... That's where the... Shit, if he was here, we could get the whole one. I was going to say, the, the closest we've been to your would, pro would probably be... Padre. Padre Prison? Padre Prison is kind of up there. Is it? Okay, I was going to say, we were east of Contraband's Holt at some point, vaguely. Dressman, I think, is around that area. Um, yeah, that might be closer. A little, little closer, depending um, on which yeah, side we we're going. Yeah. It's just something's wrong. Because the second these we killed this thing, and the memories of people came back, the dragons made a move. Yeah. Which means there's something that, that guy needs in that storm. We don't know. The what sad part is if what he needs is related to like that both Bahamut. It could get sketchy real quick. We'll cross that bridge when they come to it. That's all I can do. Yeah. You guys are actually almost in the closest spot of the storm site. Pod yeah. <laughs> yeah, Padre is like yeah. a little yeah. southeast of so. Yeah, let me see. I can probably pull it up on my phone. We're in, we're north of Albertine. Okay. Because of the Padre Desert River? Yeah. Yeah. And that's the storm in the top? Left side, right? Yeah, yeah. That's Inventus up here. Okay. Uh, and so, uh, your wood would be due north. Uh, and so, yeah, no shit. We are, we are in the closest place yeah. to your wood we've ever been. Yeah, right pretty here. much. Pretty much. We just, we've just never gone north. Nope. We've gone every other direction. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, so, before we head to fucking Land Den. Hold on. What, what made you decide to investigate this, this storm here were you given orders by somebody or were you well i was a scholar and yeah i, I was basically sectioned here to do just that i was to start and pick safe regions for these storm sites to be created i was told that um there had already been storm sites in the areas that were started to be formed, though they wanted to increase the size of them and the magnitude of them. And by doing so, I feared that uh, they would go out of control. I offered my know-how, and they appointed me with the ability to start the projects and increase the power of the storms. Are you gonna like change the map and like get rid of that? So you. I mean, future, <clears throat> I mean, I mean, I need to know where it's still at. No, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I can't. I need to know where the storm site still is. But yeah, but, but it's dead. So I still need to know where it was. Yeah. Former storm site. So you never thought it was weird that they wanted these storms? Or is this kind of what you've just thought about in the last? Exactly. Well, when I was younger, everyone was prospering, pushing inventions. It was everyone trying to become the next best thing. I could harness the storm's power and create some great invention to get rid of maybe any power source or create a energy source. I could have put my name when, when, maybe in the bucket got, to run for election one day. Kill, that's for Dragon's Guild. When we killed Discount Ragnaros. Okay. Didn't we get, like, a vision that, like, this was a cycle? Yeah. That this storm has done this the weekend mm -hmm. before? Did we? I don't remember that. It looked, it looked as if he had done this, like, multiple times. Like, this wasn't the first time this storm site flared up. Like, this. This, it, this is the first time it's been killed. It's been much worse. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it's... it's it specifically told us that it has gone on a rampage specifically like the one we witnessed before. Possibly wiping out things before cycling. And, oh. and because of its... Uh, I think it eats the memories of the things it kills. Yeah. Which means if it like just calls everyone, no one's going to remember. Remember it. it. Oh. 
It's, hey. like, it's like getting fucking murdered. Magnus, by I'll give you an inspiration for that one right there. That's a pretty big point. That's a good put together. Which means these storms might be much, much older than the Red Council making them. I mean, I think I think everything might be a little. I think older. everything's much older. Periods. Gerald turns. Or or it could be the flip side, and everything's much younger. Yeah. But so, if the storms were here when I started working on them, that means they were put here before me. So that means that they predated any technology or anything I did to them, which means someone had set them up. Guaranteed. What? But the vision, the storm told us that it specifically has flared up like this before and killed everybody. And if this storm's done that. There's a storm site in each section of Hexwell. And you all think... of these awakened like this killed a bunch of people, and because of their memory magic, it's just swept under the rug. Do you think each one is in each region, so that way it can gather all the memories from each region? Exactly. Wipe out each member in each region, full reset. Exactly. Maybe that's why media's right in the middle safe from it all. So, is it possible that we could acquire lost memories that aren't... Did you see... Did you see no, I'm playing. I'm not... That aren't well, ours? We thought. Is it possible that we could acquire memories from these storms that are destroyed that aren't our own? We haven't seen anybody. And maybe not yet. Technically, you, you no, no. The vision, the vision of Relinoff killing the Dereverence party member and making him was in our memory. So, yes. I'm just thinking, like, if the storm is absor- or killing absorbing memories, what happens to those lost memories that don't go back to the people that Okay, so they most likely fuel the storm. If we're going to talk about the mechanics of how magic works, it's like to use magic, you have to like think and imagine shit. So I'm assuming memory would be a good power source for magic. And memories of an entire population on a continent the size of Australia. That's like deity levels of magic fuel. And Bahamut's missing because like the legends of Bahamut are like, he like polymorphs and like hangs out with mortals and is like the nicest guy. And we have a group of dragons basically blaspheming everything Bahamut stands for and nothing's happening about it. So that's another weird point. means Bahamut's dead or been corrupted. Which is a t- which is terrible news. I haven't reached out to Bahamut. Well maybe you should. <laughs> if you can. I guess I shall leave you with the only little bit that I know. They're gonna come and kill me. If these storms are going to be changed, everything I've done, anybody that knows the work that I've done, I'm probably going to be no more use. You notice as you guys have been in here and you start looking around, you see that a lot of his bags and stuff are packed. Me? We'll use the tell. Get him to GM, like, right now. Just come back. He's safe. Get him somewhere. What was that one city that we passed? We're from Stone. What's it? The Stone City? I forget. Redstone. Redstone. Next to the pass. We passed it instead of going. We went past the Silver Quill area. And it was the place we met Teldris. Refuge Pass. pass. We could take him to Refuge Pass. Uh oh. And introduce him to Carl Aldron. We'll use the name. Mm-hmm. Run that. Run that. Yeah, run that one down. Yeah. What does, what does, what my is, mortal what is, enemy. Is it, what's what's 
this man look like? Joe Trump? Yeah. Old man, probably he equivalent like to like 70s, 80s. Hair, what's his hair look like? Um, he's like balded on top, white hair on the sides, um, a little bit of like a, probably like a very thick five o'clock shadow at now. Um, worn, tan skin from being out in the you know sun weather all the time. Um, frail old man, I mean, but you know, still kind of hardy. He moves around well. I mean, okay, I'm gonna need you to shave. All of it. Okay. And we're gonna take you somewhere. Immediately. Like, out of Hexwell. You ever been outside of Hexwell? Yes. Where? You were there. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> As you say, give me a persuasion check. Oh, for, for him. For me. For him. Hey. Not me. Not for him, yeah. <laughs> Nine. He looks at you. You want me to shave my head? And your face. Follow you somewhere. Oh, not follow. We're going to leave from right here. And it's just going to be like... Oh. Not Hexel anymore. And then what am I going to do? Well, well, we'll figure that out then but you're gonna you need to flee now because once this memory thing comes out and people realize how jumpy you the fucking inquisition's gonna fucking smack down on your ass i don't even know if they have an inquisition but you know what i mean the secret police whatever the red council secret police is give me some gold the gustavo no the kgb the the red riot <laughs> What are the names? The fucking blue light. I need a hundred gold. I don't have funds. Done. I'm poor. Done. Yeah, I got none. Give me a few moments, let me gather my things, and I'll go. Okay, while you gather her things. But. Gather his things. Only thing I ask is that when this is all done, you make a place for me to come back and continue my studies. Oh, it'll probably be right back here at Adventus. I mean, yeah. everything's said and done. That's all I ask. I want to continue my work in peace. That's well, it. I would also suggest wearing hats. Maybe wearing a face mask of some sort. I mean, you're a, you're a wizard. Maybe goggles. Disguise self. Are you a wizard? Do you have? Do you know the spell disguise self? Uh, I don't know quite that one. Never really had a use for it, but... Okay, then um, we're just gonna go with mundane like fucking... You see him go into the back and while he starts talking, he just starts cutting his hair as quickly as possible. It's not nice, it's not beautiful or anything. He just starts, you know, taking it to the side. He takes it off very quickly. It takes him about ten minutes. He comes out, he wears this pretty thick blue robe, um, covering up his star-adorned one, and as he throws it over... His dark navy blue. He gathers his two bags and he just stands ready. I'll leave this all behind. If you guys ever need to use my estate, use it as you please. It's not very big, it's just a two roomed house. But um people ask where I've gone. I'm sick. And uh for the time being, kinda grabs his backpack. Um I guess you guys are going to need to run Inventus. Because if I'm not here, Theo's not going to be on hand for many more years, and he's going to grow old of age. Can you, like... Take a successor? Us, before we head out? Wait, who's Theo? Theo's the guy who... Just a local farmhand. That's right. Yeah. He's well, a he's... prominent economic figure. He's Wait, can we just make Theo the leader of Adventus? If you want to. I'm leaving it to you. Do what you so wish for it. What's your opinion of Theo? Her Hard worker? I mean, gives everybody the herds and the animals that they need in the area and is always gonna... on I time. Think I think he'd do a good... He sounds like he'd do a good job on the front of the city. We're not going to be around. Someone you trust in your circle, then. This team does have experience leading people. The issue is Denistine is as much of a target as Traman's. And Denistine's essentially hiding in our estate. 
Well, let's go. That's all for you to figure out. He seems we, ready we, to we just need, drop need, chip and get out of town. Well, for official reasons, we need like you to write a letter. No, you seal. don't. What, we could just be like, Theo, you're the leader of Venice now, and just peace? You can't they just trust that? you. You saved this town more than anybody. We do have a lot of people. If I'm not here, you have more pull here. They will trust you. They all look to you anyway. Why do you think we all followed you back to your estate yesterday, Magnus? Not because we want to know hey, what you're going to eat for dinner. I have real low emotional intelligence here, sir. Well, understand that understand people that follow you. People somewhat even look up to you. And you should use that not only for your advantage. Well, we all usually look down to you, but metaphorically look up to you. So, <laughs> you're just gonna get, go with the dwarf short joke because yeah. you think you're funny, huh? It's, well, it's fun. It's fun. I gotta lighten the mood somehow. So, understand that anybody that takes it on, just do a good job. Look out for the people, give it to someone. Maybe Oxford. I've seen him working around the yard. Maybe he would be able to be. Shit. have a puppet government. Get it all up through. Well, anyway, I'm ready to go whenever you all are. Fuck, this is the one with the wand. Yeah, where we, where we, where we got them off? Refuse pass. Yeah. He just looks at you, ready to go. Before, before we go to refuse pass, is there anywhere else in um, a school? Geo? If I could go to a school, somewhere. School? Like, is there any? Is there anybody you guys trust? In GM? I don't know anybody the in GM. Only, the only person that I enjoyed in the slightest was General Aldronis. That refuge Which pass. was which is a refuse pass. Uh, he's the only one of any of any respectability I have on that yep. whole goddamn continent. Pretty much. Meta above board. I, I think the only person that we trusted really besides used... that guy was brutally murdered Pretty. in like a goblin invasion. Sure. So are we he dropping him off coming back here? Yes. I would I would actually love to stop in Alberzine. We port from there to Alberzine. Yeah, we have like five charges. And technically you guys know Percy and Alberzine. Sure. I was gonna say I would love to talk to Percy. So if you guys wanted to teleport boy is probably all kinds so of well then from Alberzine we're gonna have to go to Home or Now before we teleport, we have to use can we use your magically bullshit quill to make some, like, an artifact that makes us immune to weather effects? Well, he doesn't know. When you call it that, I'm just saying. No. Could you hit <laughs> <laughs> It's your quill. I'm asking you if you could do it. Strom's <laughs> just like, yeah, he is a little uh, straight <laughs> to the point. Uh. He's abrasive, what, I guess. What, what, what is your hesitation? Well, we're going to go intercept that. Just travel. We have to know where we're going. And the wand won't recharge until... Is it midnight? They, they're leaving, from my understanding, they're leaving at... Long rest. They're leaving at 11 p.m. tomorrow night. Okay. Yes. So we still have all of tonight. You have you have the rest of the day. You have about twelve hours left in the day. It's about noonish. We'll say about one after you guys are talking, hanging out. And in all honesty, we don't want to assault them at land end. Yeah. But no, I know. I said I said intercept. Yes, their trap. Yeah. They're they're leaving a me. Uh, are they leaving? A, they're leaving a media. Uh, I'm traveling. I would wait. Are they, tra- are they traveling by? They're traveling via skyship, so probably a straight line. And it's going to be going the opposite way. They're so coming right over us. Yes, almost. 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 Yeah. A little south of you guys, yeah. Yeah. Which means we could use your magic pool to make something that could take down a ship. Uh, yeah, so we have, we have another night. So I was hoping to just knock out some errands today. So I will be in. I gotta do some shopping. Now Brazine, talk to Percy. Is there anything we need to pick up other than anything else in Al Brazine? The only people I uh, okay. 
We could ask Percy if he has something to take down an airship. He'd probably pull something out of that pile of shit he has. Perfect. You guys sit here, and as you're talking, you hear a... Is anybody in there? You recognize that voice? You three immediately think you recognize the voice as an individual you met in Audre. Though it's a low voice, you hear it, and you especially. You wait a minute, you see Gerald. Who is that? He kind of scurries behind you guys. There's one more knock on the door. I use my mage hand. Met in I open the door. We met in Audrey. You open the door as you do With so. What the fuck are you opening goes, the door? And it opens. It's too late. It's open. Yeah, he, you he, motherfucker. As soon as you open it, you don't see anything. You see it open to bright white snow and the light. I'm going to stand in front of Gerald to protect him. As you do so, you wait a few moments. And then this leg and this silhouetted figure just creeps and walks in. Kind of peers in and then the darkness shifts on the inside and your eyes kind of adjust. And you see that this is Strix. Okay, that's what I thought. That's the only fucker we're talking to in Audrey. Right? You see him tattered. I'm going to talk real quick. And this very... This made distance. Yeah, and yeah. very, very tattered. You see him as he stands there and he closes the door behind. <sighs> Glad to see you all alive. I just uh, spoke with Liam, and it's good to see he's alive. I've been running around these last few villages. I, uh, Didn't you tell me living in here? That's all you told me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where it was and how to get there it was not the easiest way. We forget to tell we... people information all yeah, the yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. confidence yeah. in your ability. Well, I ran into hey, a doc. how long it took you to get here. We were right to yeah. have hope in your house. Yeah. You're good. Like, well, damn, like, holy guess fuck. what? <laughs> I ran into some folks at a dock. Yeah? Yeah. Took it from Andre all the way here. Right? So you went through the rocks region? No. No, no, no. I went through Geo. Yeah. It goes, it goes this way. Oh, it goes counterclockwise? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I could have sworn it went clockwise. No. Oh, okay. My no, it goes, it goes counterclockwise. Oh, okay. I've always assumed that. But when I got there, it wasn't just a normal airship. Yeah. We were making our way supposed to stop. It never stopped. So I go asking the captain. It's the weirdest captain I've ever seen. This female. She seemed to have been airman in this ship. Saying that we're not stopping there, boys. We're taking this one to find old granny. And next thing I know, oh, we're no. flying over Geom, heading towards Hexwell. Oh, I ask her, what's your name? She says, don't you fucking worry about it. <laughs> oh, so I what did I do? Oh, no. I found some landmass. I saw the snow. Figured this was Hexwell after about a day's journey. I jumped. I found some high trees. She wasn't going to stop. <laughs> uh, this is where I'm going to burst your bubble of your heroic story of escaping that ship. The person that was capturing that vessel was looking for one of our associates, and he probably would have ended up here without jumping anyway. So, well, her and her crew were pretty fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. She's not like I any. Don't know who they are? Oh, I she's know. not I even like. She's still alive. <laughs> like, we knew she was alive. But she was taken prisoner by the rocks, and she got out all right. I was saying, like, fucking good yeah. job in this. Well, Maybe whoever she is. She's on a mission. Yeah? She's looking for whoever that is. And let's just say it saved me quite a lot of time. Oh, God, that's a fucking gag. In your wood, holy shit. So, she's stopping asking for where he's at, at certain docks, and they're not taken kindly. I heard they're even, well, judging by where they were going, looked like they were heading near a dock. I jumped out, I think maybe south of what looked like, uh, or maybe I was disoriented, maybe a little bit north of some clouded bridge. Mm -hmm. I've taken care of events since then, made it this way. Yeah, took me about a day and a half, but I got here. Got yeah, here pretty quick. We have quick. to bring him for the quick pop pop, so we'll do that real quick. 
message sends a message to anybody that this caster essentially knows. Familiar with. Yeah, I don't think it's no, it's knows of. Picture told very in depth detail of. So, life was there when we saw that memory last night of Harondo. He wasn't at the event site, but he would have seen something happening. Okay, so he would not have seen Toronto. Only you Eight. and the 120, maybe. Okay. It said, we could send a message to... No, wait, he did. Yeah. He was there. I was going to say... You came to revive. Yeah, I yeah. Was like, back to He was there. No, you're right. Yeah. Come to Aventus. If we could possibly... Intercept their airship. Life has met Vanessa. Life has also seen and knows the name of Toronto Rocks. The only problem was we'll come back. Reg might not be back. <laughs> Reg just fucking left. <laughs> we just we said can, that moment. You know what? We can tell. We yeah, can tell but, her that he's. But how us. how willing would she be if she knew that she was gonna like? I don't know. Kill her accounts member. She might, might like this. Like, Red just kind of looks. She like seems people. pretty fucking hell bent on whatever she's doing. So anything in her path, you might want to get out of the way of it. She has at least a crew of what looks to be about twenty-five men strong at her side. I got off there. I wasn't fucking around on that ship. My goal was to find Liam. That's my duty. Okay. So what yeah. we got? What we need to do? The crooked crews. They're a win. Let's get a wild storm. Let's get strong. It's just come out of here yeah. and then teleport back here to get that message to her and then teleport to Percy's. It'll be all our teleport trick. One, two, three, four. As opposed to one, two, three. It makes sense to go there. Alberzine. Back. Yes. So it's not too right. Then we need to have life message Vanessa now before yeah. we leave. Yeah. Trump's still just kind of hey, hiding behind your arm. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but he was kind of out of it. He had like black eyes and was just not responsive. So we might we might be careful when we reach the subject. I well, shit, I've seen that. Yeah, is that normal? Doing a fucking ritual. Okay. Okay. Do them all the time in Audrey. Interesting. Yeah, eyes blacked over? Yeah. Yeah. You just been he does... murmuring outside of a tomb. Well, they do that a lot. Murmuring outside of a tomb with blacked over eyes. Yeah. But yeah. the tomb doesn't have a body in it. It's an empty tomb. It's weird. Yeah. Life isn't from Andre, I don't think. So that's odd. That's odd. In all honesty, we never really asked Life where he was from. Oh. So that's a mistake. It's weird, his name's Life. I mean, yeah. he's, a, he's a tiefling. Yeah. Speaking to dooms. Doesn't sound like what a Life, like maybe his name should be dead. I mean, he is a grave cleric and a warlock. Always tried to hide the fact he was a warlock. I don't know what those are. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna go speak with G. Uh, in a cage. I'm gonna go speak with Liam. So. Okay. Yeah, and he just bounces out. Okay. I thought he's already gone. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's just write. Right back. Let's just write the note <laughs> to a random town from a shapeshifter no. to tell right, Mike cool. to use message on Vanessa. Yeah. Huh? What? That way we sacrifice some random villager instead of us. Trying to talk to that guy. Nah, it's bad. I mean, if he turns out to be evil, we'll cross him. All right, so what are you guys doing? We gotta go back to the house. We can't, though. Why? We don't want... We just want him to be mystic. We don't want... Oh, Strong can't come with us. I mean, we can... And we don't want to leave him alone. Do you right. this, The fact that this memory thing, it, like, the Royal Guard's probably just gonna, like, pop up at the end of it. I think... 
Copying by... Dropping him off in Refuge Pass. Popping back to media Or not media Not media Alverzine. I, I have a... I know I want something very specific. I mean, if you guys are quick, it's like, boom. Yeah, it should, boom. it should only take something. Maybe, maybe two. Depending on how long We're going it to, takes to what, talk what's, to Corsi. What's the pass? Refuse pass? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it's uh, refuse pass? No, I know. Okay. okay. We're going there, and then we're going to... Albertine? Albertine. Yep. He's coming back. Yeah. Yeah. He goes straight to Percy's, because I've been there. Yep. I mean, he has a dedicated room. Dedicated yeah, I was about to say, you guys can go... Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, right. Yeah. Um, we'll be, I don't um, think it will be an issue. Think so. All right, sounds good. Good, we done. We good. No more. All right, let's go. Fast. All right, so you're in Shrom's place. Huddle up. You huddling up? Yup. Yeah. Boom! You expend one of your charge. Yep. You envision the place where you met Teldris. You take a few moments, and inside you feel, this, and then you're taken. You take a few moments, and you're brought. It's still midday. A little forecast in the area, and you're brought to Refuge Pass. As you sit and you are brought to where you met Teldris, you see a couple people around catch you guys just teleport in. They kind of catch back a glance. Strom is just sitting there, and then in a moment he <laughs> and just starts fucking throwing up everywhere. So like he's Whoa, Jesus. Caught him I off see guard. like three fuck this is, and I didn't throw up. <laughs> okay, yeah. I should probably get sober at some point today. <laughs> Oh, wait, you guys, you guys take a few me. moments and you look around and you guys are immediately met with thousands of tents. When before you saw a few tents forming, people coming from what looked like some area. Now, as you guys immediately land and you look up where you saw sun, light, white snow before, you're now met with like dirt beneath your feet and this dark overhead looming of not a bright light but that dark red still looms oh, far still over in the east and it has grown and almost overshadowing any light you see people just turning and many thousands you see just almost as far as the eye can go in this area refuge you see people still coming in to your right and left off roads you see gerald just look where the fuck have you brought me? Um, you're a refuge. He you're, just looks uh, up. You're a refuge. That's <laughs> this is the best place to hide, and also something terrible's happening in this region. So good luck with that, I guess. Okay, you're gonna come back for me, right? Yeah, we're probably gonna have to come back and deal with whatever's happening here at some point. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. You guys take a few moments, and you see a few guard outlooks coming. They see you, and they look. You are not with a tent or assigned a number. Names? Who are you with? Did we give them a fake name last time we were here? No. Okay. No. Hold on. I wasn't here though. We're yeah. looking for. Well, uh, Cat, uh, General Ardr uh, Aldronis. We're associates of his. We met uh, some, some time ago. Uh, okay. You have a word with him, business, or...? Yes. We have uh, we have an individual that we would like to... If if he has any... He's a scholar. Looks like... You just wait a few moments and you hear, like, a snapping of a few fingers and this cavalry large man on this horse just in about two minutes comes trotting up, wearing full armored, takes his helmet off, and you immediately notice this is General. He looks at you. Ah, yeah. I know these individuals. Uh, at least these two. Um, how did you get here? We can teleport. I'm not even going to ask. Yeah. <laughs> You've brought an individual as he looks at Magnus and he looks at Gerald. Him uh, specifically, not me. I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The, our, our older associate here, he's a scholar. Uh, things are bad here. Things are bad in Hexwell. Things Ooh. are bad in Nodre. Things are bad. Yes, things are bad here. 
The whole eastern region and part of Auron are completely evacuated, and Rovan Tanner has not returned from his meeting in Amidia. We're not sure if he's fled the region or something has happened. I know, like, that's well, really fucked. The only region I know that's not in a giant clusterfuck right now, just because it's the Rocks region, and that's just because I haven't been there. You know, mm-hmm. everywhere else apparently is shit in the bed. Uh, that being said, our, our scholarly associate here has recently lost his position. It looks like you can, could use someone who might be able to figure out what's going on. So if he scratches your back, you scratch his back. Place to stay. He's a youthful guy. Food in his belly. So you need him to stay here. And you need us to make sure he doesn't go missing. Yeah, his name's Steve. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. He looks at Gerald. Your name's Steve? Yeah. You keep me safe. <laughs> He just kind of nudges behind you guys. Jesus Christ! Uh, He looks at you all. He's been studying... I'm not even gonna ask. There's too much going on for us to just dilly-daddle. Do you have some gold? Do you have some gold? Give me five gold. I'll keep him near my watch. That way he's fine. Sure, I'll give him his own tent. We'll keep him within the militaristic district. I'll keep him safe. If you have, like, a refugee camp school, you'd be interested in helping out with that. And he knows a lot about storm sites. Now, if someone comes looking for him, is his name really Steve? What? If if somebody comes looking for him, you don't know who he is. Yeah. Or where he's from. Yeah. This is just Fair enough. just a guy. He's a, a literally no. He is another value. refuge. Yeah, I already don't know who he is. As far as yep. you're concerned. Yeah. I appreciate this greatly. I know it's sudden and imposing. We're here doing it for all of Geom. Seems that the whole area is kind of just fucked, and everybody just kind of seems to be hoping as. You guys look, and the refuge passes near kind of the flats and over, kind of near the edge. Where you just see clouds. You just see him kind of look over that way. Hopefully things are better elsewhere. Hey. Not really. Alright, well, I gotta get back <laughs> to my... <laughs> <shit on that. laughs> yeah. I gotta get back to my duties, but um, I'll keep him safe. Thank you. He takes them and he pulls them up on his horse. Strom's not very big. He sits on the back. You see Strom, he just looks at you. Please come back for me. I'll be here and stay out of trouble. Write that down so we, so we don't forget about it. <laughs> you see, I didn't say that as Mac. No, no. <laughs> you see, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can I'm, someone remind me when we get all this he just looks, the PowerPoint? <laughs> yeah. You see him as he gets on the horse. He turns. Evidence. Evidence. You, you see the general. He nods oh. and he gallops away. You guys are now left to yourselves as this guard now who formally greeted you turns and starts going back. Numbers! Numbers! And he starts looking for different numbers on tents. Tents and numbers, we need names. Everybody must be accounted for. Where are you from? You hear individuals going on and on. Now, just looking before you guys get ready to grab and go back to Alberzine and teleport, as you gather up to do that, you just think kind of to yourselves that It is really shitty everywhere. And you've thought of it, but you're really now seeing just droves of people being homeless. You're not even sure why. You know that something's happening. You know that maybe the Scale Cavern or something had to do with this. But you just, especially Orm and Fuck This, you feel this like solemn weight Almost like, you know, you need to do something, but you don't really know what. And then is there anything you guys wish to do before you guys teleport to Alberzine? I don't got shit. Okay. I don't think so. I don't have any utility prepared at night. You see Gerald, he takes off, he goes out of vision, you gather yourselves, and with a few individuals kind of still watching, you (laughs) teleport back out, headed towards Percy's basement. In a few moments, you are brought... And as you do so, you land into a foot full of frosted ice. 
you notice that coming from the outside of his vault, you see this huge iced over, not even like being withheld. It's completely broken through part of the wall and is just malleating out into this room. You see the part of the runes he's tried to like crush to keep the runes, you know, available for <laughs> transportation. And as you do so, you hear the slight footsteps after a few seconds coming down as his alert spell has notified him. Is, is there just still a small flame from that ink, ink. Just, just sitting there circle. next to it and it yeah. is all gone around it yeah. like literally the ice has just grown and gone around it and so just, just perpetuated just out in that yep. this clear, clear ice, ice fire. fire yep there's a bubble yep and this is from a gym right? yes we can go get more of that. the seasonal gym <laughs> this is from Gildor's seasonal gym yeah um, is it like chip broken pieces? Fractured. Uh, I'd say you Are know pieces around? Like, no this is only one and you know that when he mentioned it and when the experiment and everything was brought, that you guys knew that that fractured gem was maybe three to five pieces, and Cassandra took one and shattered it into thousands of tiny little ones to help create the machine. So probably four, you know? Fifth one being just lost. Um, but you guys know also that three by legends phrasing is usually what is needed to form a soul or reform something wait a minute this is just thinking about this gym wasn't the complex weapon told when if it hits the storm and land in it wouldn't just destroy that shard it would destroy all shards correct right which because a gildor is bad Aren't they also using these shards to make abominations? You were told. Mm -hmm. But I will say you guys, other than an early on encounter, haven't really seen any abominations climbing over the edges. I've heard of them. Would it? Just like the storm sites, other people's souls are in these abominations you're saying that maybe they've no because the abominations we've seen as a party which would be that grass thing that killed Perrin mm -hmm. all of the abominations we've heard of have been of like almost a nature variety so like we had like that grass monster and like now we've seen a fire monster and Eldrins have seasonal powers, so they have winter, summer, fall, and spring. And all all of the abominations we've heard of as seen as a party can fit under any of those categories. Okay. So that means they could. The reason they're destroying the Land In machine is because they've made something they can't control. Maybe the Gildor's gym has like it's been like Pandora's box. Believe it. Especially because the storm that the goblins did um <laughs> you know also awakened all those dead Warforged bodies. Yeah. Maybe the connection to Gildor's elemental powers has like a connection to like the actual planes. And as you finish that thought, you hear tup, 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 of Percy skittering down the stairs. You see him, and then he immediately gets the sigh of relief as he sees you all. You're still alive. Whew! But I wasn't sure if, um,. Let's see you guys again, and he just starts breaking down. He immediately just goes into this outright cry. He comes up and he just starts hugging you all, like around the legs. I mean, he's only three foot tall. Um, he's a foot he embraces you. Well, you then <laughs> full arm embrace. No, yeah. Um, it's more like a yeah. He turns. So the ice is uh, that's an issue. Yeah, I haven't been down here because it's an issue. Yeah. 
But there's a bigger issue. Above, I've had some guards from the... So the Hex Guard. Whew. They came. They asked. I told them I didn't know anything. But they're going to come back. They asked you... If I... Yeah. They're looking for you. <clears throat> Which means we probably shouldn't leave the basement of this shop. No, that's what I was about to say. I gotta leave the basement of the shop. You I guys... Think Percy can, can get me something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... You need that vial? Well, I mean, I'll, I would appreciate a vial, but... Wait, Percy, do you have a vial? What, is that it's worth... A, it's, it's a easy. very specific vial, but that's not even what I came to Alberzine for. I just need diamonds. Raw diamonds. Is, is, can, get. You, can we give you gold and you go get a bunch of raw diamonds? I can't imagine diamonds are in high demand right now. They're not in high demand. I just can't leave my storefront. But they're gonna know something's up. Do you have, like, a, do you have like an errand boy? No, it's... I, it's me. I could. People bring me stuff. I don't run errands. Well, has anybody brought you raw diamonds? <laughs> No, I mean, they don't bring. They bring me magical items. They're bringing... Okay, segue before we figure out about the diamond problem. Do you have any random magic items that would be good at you know? No, being... this is what I'm getting to. They took all my shit. Oh no! They ruined your fucking. They know. They knew I was working for you all. They knew we were at least working together. Yeah. So I told them that I just sold you some stuff. That was it. They didn't buy it, though. They told me that I'm going to be sent to a media. Taken. If I don't fess up to something. Soon. Looks like we might have another person that takes a grip you today. Oh, I was going to say. Listen. They named this individual. Callan. Darcimius. An individual of the courts. I'm supposed to meet with him. I'm supposed to. We got invited to meet with that guy too. Did you get a letter? No. We got a letter. I've never heard of him though. I'm just gonna disappear you from here with us. We just need to somehow get diamonds there. I can get you diamonds if. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you, uh, is Dennis seen alive? Yeah. Don't send messages from any other major towns. Somebody's listening. Like somebody can listen to message? That's a big problem. Like the spell. Define major towns. We don't know if they can exactly listen. And... The major cities. Albazine. New All. New All, Gildre, Yorwood. You don't want to send any sort of messages, any sort of anything like that. They're watching. They have people in areas that are paying attention now. Oh, shit, we need to ask him about the mayor. That's another thing. The other night I heard of a storm... And Alanda said she spoke with you all. She visited me earlier this morning. She told me that, uh, killed this storm site. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> and he's just as, like... Oh, it turns the storms were made by a guy named Rose. Magic Boner, you know? I just... <laughs> you just whipped out a legendary artifact in front of the magic item guy. He just... That, that came from it. Oh, we have something more mind-bending. So, you know the legend of, like, Relinov Draconius? Well, he, like, made the storm by killing all the members of the party. Of the Close enough. Most likely. Because that sword was, you know, part of that. The one guy. Starts with a G. Roddick. 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 Baylor. Baylor, yeah. Yeah, Roddick Baylor. Isn't there a Ganon? Yeah. Yeah. 
the the news that hit me was a memory and I knew immediately that something had changed a long time I had thought that this individual that the unbroken legions had been sorting to find trying to figure out working for years I realized I think he may have been the one that created this whole allegiance. And then I thought to myself, that was a long time ago. How could I know that? Being a part of it, not being a founder. Dennistein supposedly knew that. But then I thought a little bit more, more memories kind of came throughout the night, slowly. Then they stopped, finally. And once I was able to orientate them all, I remember that this individual, this member of the Red Council, a long time ago, met with... Dynasty. And he told him that this unbroken allegiance needed to be created amongst all the regions to keep them as one. I don't remember that. The only thing I really remember is the next time Dynasty and I talked forming this secret group that we thought was completely thought of on our own. Incorporating two lapidaries. Did being in the red, did he have like burned hands? As you say that, he kind of thinks back. I think he might have. Though maybe not entirely his hands. I remember a part of his face. On one side seemed as if he wore part of a mask covering most of his face. We weren't able to see much, but I do remember burn marks. And I wonder... Well, that's her memory mage. If everything that's been happening, all these things we've been doing with the Unbroken Allegiance, maybe is just... And a setup that we've been feeding into this whole time. This secret network that we thought we were so far above everyone thinking we were so cunning. So smart. When in actuality, this individual's been watching us the entire time from the inside. Now, you all remember that pact I made you sign, right? In blood? That if you died, I'd know. Every member signed that at some point. Meaning that all of us have been infused with some sort of blood. Now, if there's somebody that can use magic with that blood... They could possibly be keeping tabs on all of us. It would explain a lot. And the one member that I know you all came into contact with and made odd ends with very quickly when he was following you to Cassandra's place. An outdoor Trixus. Yeah. He's the only one that has come into contact with you since the beginning. He's the only one that I know of that's a teacher here that has connections and networks with nearly everyone that you've come into contact with. Cassandra Volt since the beginning. Wait, is that Trixus the blood mage? Yes. That uses blood magic? Yes. Oh, oh no. And he also was a professor here with Cassandra. He had inner workings with many students along with Teldris possibly that you all told me had inner workings with these machines that now have grandos scale within Hexwell. 
We're finding more things out. And now we know that this individual probably knows everything we've been doing. He has the upper hand and has been giving this information to whoever he works for. Everything we've been working towards has been perpetrated. We need to go to the library. That was the next thing. Dennis Dean said a long time ago that the ancient library held relics and knowledge that so long ago that not even possibly the original creators of it, maybe even forgotten, passed down. Now, Alanda told me that supposedly this storm you killed released memories. Locked away that maybe somebody or someone was doing on purpose. That's true. Who's to say that there's not information stowed away in ancient libraries that isn't supposed to be uncovered? Dennisine told me there's certain vaults locked away. Certain books that were wrote before the cloud tops were formed, brought from the surface. Those things probably need to be sought after. Texts from before, maybe from the originating time of when this all took place? This is this is another weird conjecture. Um, so essentially, these storms have been hoarding memories, but also, on top of being magic fuel, also be knowledge. Wouldn't that being also just normally hold, hoard knowledge? Is there a chance that this ancient library is older than we think? Well, maybe that's why they call it the ancient library. Was it here before? Before, exactly. And maybe whoever... Well, this whole region's a trap. He's feeding off of whatever's here, siphoning power. Everybody, he, it's a cycle, too. In, in From what we've seen, it's not a cycle of just Hexwell. Now, I don't know everything that you know. But what I'm telling you is that Dennis Dean wouldn't have sought after knowledge in the ancient library and not have found it if it wasn't somewhere he couldn't. Now... I was going to the ancient library specifically on a knowledge how to break a pact. Maybe. Which would be the best place to find it. Or maybe you go beneath the ancient library. See what's in the cellars, the basements. We can do both things. You find out what some of those ancient relics, some of those books really say. I even heard that some of the books that are in there contain so much evil that they can even bear the skin from an individual and turn them into a walking creature. Books of that power, that magnitude locked away, they could hold power. They could hold some answers. And maybe this whole time, it was just there, and no one looked or knew where to look. Maybe the stories of what we have forgotten has been put down at some point, transcribed before us. But I'm not sure. No, this, the like the ancient library being older, means <clears throat> the entirety of the cloud tops is a trap for someone trying to like it seems like somebody's trying to become a god I'm not here like we have our entire society essentially baited into living in these cloud tops and then being cold and that's been the metal we killed said it was a cycle now, as you guys are talking... And we have no memory of before the calamity. You guys above on dirt, not in the floorboards, you hear heavy footsteps and what sound like horse hooves. And then they stop. You hear many footsteps. You immediately see Percy's demeanor change from this hard serious to him almost paranoid freaking out. They're they're here. If you need something, 
I can maybe keep him busy. I think you are more important than me. You hear a... And he looks around. One sec, do you have a back door? Like a secret, a secret underground passageway? I have a back cellar door. You can go out the basement, but... No, it's... We're, we're all going out the basement. Could you... We could just... Wait a minute. You can turn invisible. I can also turn invisible. I can turn into a spider. I was saying, like, you can go get diamonds. You really need them. You hear one more time. Okay. Diamonds are... It's the Hex God! Guy the only, alive. Percy Poufon! I need you to write in your magic quill an explosive that mimics a gas leak right what? now. <laughs> Leave the what? back cellar, blow it? the building... You hear loud no, voices no. start banging on the door. Percy Poufon, we have order for your... Arraignment in a media. You hear it one more time. Percy looks at you. Oh, guys, we gotta go. We gotta do something. They're, they're gonna break in and they're gonna come down here. We need to go to the ancient library because we're under surveillance from a pack. So do we sneak out or do we teleport? Or we gotta decide. What are we doing? We just teleport to the library. They might and then just long rest in the bottom of the library. Um... We need to go immediately. How we want to do that? You start hearing. Take place. Poof, I just go home. Poof, they start yeah, slamming in on the doors. Do. Okay. Maybe we can just teleport directly to the ancient library later. Yeah. Yep. Going home. Do you hear? Poof, poof, and home. then grab finally, poof, as the door three. finally breaks in, you guys How grab. Just I have one more. Three total. I thought it was four a day. Is it three a day? I think you had three, and then it's charges. You had three in it. Yeah, you haven't rolled for your new charges. Right. I think it's like up to seven. Oh, is it really? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. But I had three. Okay. So you oh. have those, and until you wait, didn't it? it might be six. We've already long rested since he's got it, so we would have would have been more. Roll, roll. What was? What it's a D six. Roll a D six. Or no, it might be D four. Let me D4. look. I think it's a D four. Yeah. Roll D four. And we'll just say, you will just add that onto it. Four. All right, so you gain four more. All right. We have plenty. Do you have... Pop us to Venice. Yeah. First. And then then we will go to the... So you hear... Right. Scuttering everybody, and as it does, so you see what looks like shadow. Not anybody actually seeing you before you grab, and... <laughs> Percy comes into you, and you guys immediately brought right inside your guys' entryway in, in Ventus. An hour later, after everything you had gone through, you're back where you had started. You had taken Gerald to Geom, gone back to Alberzine, gathered Percy, and now made it in that triangular fashion back. You guys wait a few seconds. Got a lot accomplished. You guys gather yourselves, and that's where we're going to pick up next week with you guys having about we have a day and a half-ish yeah. before you know that the... Uh, airship will be flying towards Land End. Question above table was Trixus was going to be the one to Land End, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you were and told that Lithus. Yeah, you you know that Lithus Le Lex was with um, Outdoor Trixus, yeah. accompanied with some soldiers and Gustang Thunder Rider, who's going to be accompanying that under Moonlight to Land End, hopefully trying to take out the storm. And you guys can figure it out then what you guys want to do, and we'll pick up there next week. Good guys. A lot of fucking lore. A lot of decisions you guys gotta make now. You got Vanessa with a fucking airship. You have Grendridge in the other side trying to... Can we not include... Do you have the option to get a message? Fuck no. <laughs> I would have taken that shit a long, a long time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to use your magic to give us a wand so, message. There, there's, well, there's there's a, literally an item called Earring of Message, where it, every day you get a D4 charges yeah. of, oh, well. of message. Don't forget that. There you go. I got 16 pages. Of Gildor gold. being dead, probably. Well, I mean, and you guys are back at home. You guys get life out of his it's, trance. It has, it has five charges, and then it gets a D4 plus one charge every day. Um, but yeah, life... Cool. Right now, currently, is just a message boy, and I that sucks. <laughs> like I don't like doing that. I've got I've got his own thing broke for him. Yeah, he, he's he's got his own thing going. Right now, but... life is an earring of message. <laughs> yeah, and that kind of sucks. All right, but until next time.
that's where we'll pick up. So until next week, think about what you guys want to do, prioritize some stuff, and uh, see what you guys are going to be doing then.